You're watching Neville Tiger Football on the Neville Tiger Network. Neville Tiger Football is presented by Parker Alexander, Attorneys at Law, James Machine Works, Origin Bank, Go Family Health, Family Solutions, Mama DeLuca's Pizza, Martinez Chiropractic, David's Mobile Detail and Wash, Sonic on North 18th Street, Sleepy Hollow, Williams Orthodontics, Cody Riles, The Levy Grill, Nukes Eatery, Tarver Family Dental, Liz McQueen, Neela Title Company, Fleet Feet, Frank Nettles Automotive, Roadrunner Mobile Detail, and Sunny 98.3. Now let's head out to the Family Solutions broadcast booth for Neville Tiger Football with Stuart Shelby, Robert Lane, and Jason Ewing, right here on the Neville Tiger Network and Sunny 98.3. Welcome, everybody, to L.J. Haas Garrett Stadium on the campus of Ruston High School here in Ruston, Louisiana. Yes, we can hear you. We're just going on open. We're going on open. We're going on open. We are open. Thank you. All right. So we are just getting started here at uh, Haas Garrett Stadium. Stuart Shelby, Will Anders here uh, as part of our, our tailgate coverage here on the Neville Tiger Network, and uh, it's going to be a good game here, Will, as these two teams, the second longest uh, rivalry, consecutive rivalry in the state of Louisiana, and you'll get into some of those stats and stuff here later on in the tailgate, but uh, it's always a good game when the Tigers and the Bearcats tangle. Yes, but before we get into any of that, we got the band coming out in a little bit. We yep. also have Bingle Bells coming out. They're coming out now. Football oh, fans, the Great American Rivals Check series would like to take a moment Tiger to honor Club. the top All right. scholar athletes from each school. Hi, welcome back, everybody, into Tiger Talk. And we've reached our final segment here on the Neville Tiger Network and Sunday 98.3. But real quick, once again, the set by Sleepy Hollow. And, I, you know, Joe Tiffany Falk texted me today a, a pick and – it's some black and gold uh, patio furniture that just came in, and you need to oh. go see her over there at, at Louisville on Louisville Avenue. Don't say it looks that. My really wife good. Will, my uh, wife Nicole, will be up there trying uh, to buy over that. there. She she's uh, <laughs> already in there, but uh, you know they can order special order anything you want, any colors, anything else. But they've got some some great stuff, and you go by and see them. Uh, hopefully, maybe this weekend. Uh, it's supposed to be beautiful out. Some patio weather. Patio weather. Patio weather. All right. Because I, I failed to do this last week, and, and let's get a, go ahead and talk about our players of the week so from, we don't from last week so I don't <laughs> forget. Our Origin Bank players of the week were uh, number 89, Jaden Gibson, and number 29, uh, Robert Graves. And we mentioned Graves a lot there and Gibson. Uh, both had big nights on respectively on each either side of the ball oh without a doubt Jaden did a great job of catching the football and running some routes and uh you know he did the, the part that we hadn't talked a whole lot about is about his downfield blocking you mm -hmm. know we talked a little bit about handling a while ago but Jaden does a great job blocking downfield and you know on the defensive side Robert had a lot of good plays in the open field the other night and uh graded out pretty good uh but uh, he, he's, uh, he's definitely been improving each week and uh, just proud to watch those guys play. Well, and, and when you talk about playing uh, uh, as well, I mean, we thank <clears throat> Origin Bank for sponsoring our Players of the Week each and, and every game. As It is, uh, let's see. I don't even know if they can hear that out there. Uh, I know it's coming in, in my, my head. Can you hear that static? Get up. Yeah, check that. There it there is, right there. Perfect. Maybe uh, there it comes back. But either either way, we're going to power through it. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if – hopefully nobody at home can hear that static that we've got in, yeah. in our deal. All right, let's talk about Neville. Uh, <clears throat> Neville plays Rustin this Friday night. Uh, we're, we're closing in on uh, 100 – times we've played these guys i believe overall it's mm -hmm. uh, neville has a lead 48 
to 40. 1931. 1931. It's the longest running. Uh, second, second, second. Well, it's ha- the yeah. longest one that we have. Oh, yeah, it's the longest second one. Second to have. Homer Hainesville, right, I, I yeah. believe. They've uh, got us by four or five years, I believe. But uh, as we as we roll through uh, this to this year's Rustin team, we, we talked about. I mean, we, a lot of people have heard about Dyson Fields, the, oh, yeah. the tailback. You've got Osborne, uh, who the quarterback. And then you've got uh, Willis, uh, who's kind of a hybrid quarterback, wide receiver. Right. I mean, a bunch of good athletes back there. But mm-hmm. when you look at Rustin offensively, they're, they're running, you know, eye formation, either under center or sometimes even from the uh, – Shotgun. I mean, it's, it's like the same offense that you get through there. So, anyway, uh, talk a little bit about them and, and kind of what they do well. Well, uh, you know, obviously they've got some good athletes. Uh, you know, Aaron Jackson's a good wide receiver for them. Uh, the quarterback's a, a tremendous player. He's a tremendous athlete. Um, and that's Osborne. And then Dyson Fields, you know, one of the best running backs in this part of the country. And, uh, you know, he's got a lot of scholarship offers. And so, he, you know, those three combinations there with the quarterback, tailback, and uh, wide receiver, you know, they got three weapons there. Uh, and then they go along with that, they've got a really good offensive line. So, yeah. you know, they give you a lot of different looks. They'll go two-back gun. They'll go under center with an eye formation with a big fullback in there. And, uh, you know, they'll use those linebackers at fullback, both of them. Um, 22 is uh, Jaden Mayfield, and 21 is Ryland Elmore. So they'll use both those guys at fullback. So they have some guys playing on both sides of the ball a little bit. But, you know, and they've got a big tight end. Uh, I believe he's 87, Jackson Yates, who does yeah. a tremendous job mm-hmm. of blocking. And so, uh, you know, they're very good on the offensive side of the football. Um, you know, defensively they run a 4-2-5, kind of basically the same thing we, we run. But uh, they've got some big guys uh, – you know, up front, and then those two linebackers are really good players. They've also got, uh, you know, uh, a strong safety. Yep. B.J. Green's a tremendous player for them. Uh, he's, he's, to me, he's one of their players that does a lot of things. He covers passes well. He plays the run well. Uh, you know, he does a really good job for them on defense. And then, you know, their big D tackle slash D in, we don't know where he's going to play because he played in last year. He played mm-hmm. tackle this year. Christian Davis, you know, he's – it says six three two seventy, but he's three Hondo. Yeah, no he's doubt. a big guy. He, he's a big guy, and he's very athletic. So, and then number seven plays corner for him, Dawson Willis. He also plays a little wide receiver for him. So, um, you know, well, really good on both sides of football. You know, two we haven't. The last time we went to Rustin, we played at Grambling, and right. that was, if you remember, it was just one of those crazy games. It was a mm-hmm. game that. The Tigers dominated there for uh, the longest time. Three and then, quarters. And then Rustin comes back and a crazy play. I mean, a fourth and forever. Yeah, uh, fourth that and they, 30, I think. They uh, come up with a, a game winner there uh, at Grambling. Then you come back to our place, and Rustin kind of outplayed us a little for a, right. a, a good portion of that game. And then we did the same thing to them. It's yeah. been that back and forth, mm-hmm. I believe, for two and two in the last – Four oh, years yeah. uh, against mm-hmm. those guys and Coach Ball and and his staff. I know Coach uh, Campbell and I discussed it a little briefly mm-hmm. in our talk with him, but they had uh, uh, he's he's put together a pretty salty staff over there. Oh, yeah. Not only some some big names, but also some some old some of the old guard of, of coaching names in mm-hmm. North Louisiana have come over there and and oh, like. Yeah. You know, the staff at Neville, they've been with Coach Ball for a while now. Oh, yeah. They've done a great job over there. He's done – you know, he's really got the program going back again. And, uh, you know, this Rust and Neville rivalry has been going on since 31. And and I, if you go back and look at the history books, very seldom has there been a blowout. I mean, we've had yeah. a couple, you know, maybe two in the last 15 years. And, but and even then, when yeah, on one both team – yeah, yeah. W- yeah, when one team – has been that much better than the other. Even those years, it's a three or four point ball game. So, you know, when you drive over to Rustin this Friday night, you're probably going to see a good ball game. And, um, you know, I'm just looking forward to see our kids play against some really good competition uh, again this week and um, and just a physical football game. And, and that's what they try to do. They're a physical team. Yeah. Um, and um, had been flashy, have, not putting no. up a lot of points over there. No. They play good defense, they <clears> held some good teams. To low offensive outputs. Mm-hmm. Lafayette Christian last week uh, held right. them to 
uh, what, 14 points, I believe, or, or 17 points, whatever whatever it was. Uh, I right. think it was just 14, 21 14 or 17 14, Something what they like won. Yeah, it was a good but game. It was, it was a, a good game, uh, but. Uh, very talented, but a lot of people thought Lafayette Christian might be one of the best teams in right. the state of Louisiana. Mm-hmm. Uh, they went to their place and put up that type of numbers. I mean, they just limit mm-hmm. that big play ability. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Typ- Tigers- it's, a, it's a typical Rustin team. They play really good defense. They run the football effectively. They stay away from turnovers, mm-hmm. you know, and so and they try to keep the ball away from you. So. The things that we have to do is, one, we have to limit turnovers. Everybody they've beaten this year has turned the ball over in the red zone at least once or twice for mm-hmm. touchdowns going the other way. Yeah. Uh, we got to stay away from that. we got to be good in special teams this week. They have a really good kicker. Uh, he does a lot of things on the onside kicks. He can kick long field goals. He's mm-hmm. a really good player. Uh, so, you know, those are things that we worked really hard this week on. Uh, you know, then we've got to execute on offense. If we get a chance to score in the red zone, we've got to score the football. Can't get field goals out of it. That's not yeah. what we're looking for. Uh, but uh, it's a it's a game of Friday night about execution. Who can execute the best? Who can be the more physical team Friday night? And we're going to get tested for sure. And uh, I'm looking to see, I'm looking forward to seeing how what our kids. Well, we've been talking about the the theme of this year was not where you start, but where you finish. Right. You want to see improvement each and every week. Mm-hmm. We've seen that. Oh, yeah. We've seen that both on the offensive side of the football and the defensive side mm-hmm. of the football. Another stiff test faces y'all Friday night, and this is the last non-district game before you, you right. get into your district. Uh, you know, just rivalry aside, PowerPoint's on the line. I mean, a yeah. win against Rustin can – do uh, a, a, a lot some, of good things. a lot of good things for <laughs> the Tigers with this new yeah. newly vamped playoff system. I mean, right. I mean, it, I don't think nobody else is thinking about that. It, it's crossed everybody's <laughs> mind. Right. But, uh, and the same goes for them. You know, I same mean, thing it, goes for them. You know, they know they know what kind of game this is, and we and our kids know. Uh, what, mm-hmm. You know, we, they, you don't have to say a whole lot about rivalry. Uh, it, it, it's Neville Rustin, man. It, yeah. It, it's two of the best teams in the state playing and uh, and two of the best programs in the state uh, getting after it on a Friday night. It'll be a big crowd. It'll be happening over there at Ruston. And, uh, you know, I think both of us are looking forward to this. Definitely so, definitely so. So if you want tickets to the Ruston game, uh, are there any at the, uh, the Yeah, school? Mrs. Joy, I have those on sale. Uh, is it? I believe it's tomorrow and yeah. Friday morning. Tomorrow possibly. Friday morning after Pep Rally. Mm-hmm. No and, doubt. Uh, then you can also get them at the gate, but you, if you yeah. want to get them pre-done, you know the parking over at Rustin's is it's all it's a neighborhood school. Yeah. It's kind of like Neville, kind of like parking in Neville, exactly. Yeah. So, uh, but there's a lot of it over there, uh, mm-hmm. and it's a, a, a nice campus, and mm-hmm. you got the hill and everything. I mean, it's just one of those old football stadiums. They got oh, yeah. revamped after the tornado, but uh, it yeah. still has that old feel, a tight mm-hmm. tight feel over there at Rustin. Oh yeah, without a doubt, it's a it's a good atmosphere to play in. Uh, you know. For years and years, uh, you know, their coach was Hall Garrett. Our mm-hmm. coach was Bill Rupel and Charlie Brown for years and years. And, um, you know, they did a lot of things uh, exactly the same. Hence, you know, yep. the, the programs over the hi- the history of both yeah, programs. Chick Childress. I mean, yeah, yeah. I saw something on uh, the interwebs the other day about, you know, Coach Chick and Coach Charlie Brown came, went into the state, the LH, or the Louisiana Athletic Hall of Fame yeah. the same day. And yeah. They, they were kind of both very well deserved. Very well deserved. So mm-hmm. I mean, a lot of history, not only between uh, the coaching staffs, but I mean, that was the thing. It didn't matter. They were friends off the field, but oh, when yeah. you played, yeah. it, it was time to get it on. Oh, so, yeah. uh, looking forward to another good matchup, coach, and uh, wish you luck on Friday night. Thanks, Stuart. We're going. We're going to get after it Friday night. All right. We welcome you back here to pregame. As here is the Neville Tiger Band.
All right, that was the Neville Tiger band here during pregame. So we're awaiting the kickoff between Rustin and Neville. But before that, we're going to take a quick two-minute break. Two-minute break. We'll be right back. You're watching Neville Tiger football right here on the Neville Tiger Network. Call David's Mobile Detail and Power Wash for all your detailing and power washing needs and soft washing capabilities, too. They detail cars, trucks, ATVs, UTVs, boats, and even planes. They offer commercial and residential hot water power washing on nearly all surfaces, including concrete, wood, and stucco. Give them a call, 547-3233, or visit them online at davidsmobiledetail.com. Or stop by 2501 Washington Street in Monroe. David's Mobile Detail and Wash, proud supporter of of Neville Tiger Football. Mama DeLuca's pizzas are custom made, fresh to order right in front of you. We offer three different sizes of pizza, 9, 12, or 14 inch. Mama DeLuca's pizza is prepared to your order. The pizza cooks in less than three minutes. We have 16 different toppings to choose from, eight unique sauces to complete your pizza. In addition to pizzas, we offer to our customers boneless wings with your choice of a dipping sauce. Mama DeLuca's pizza offers delicious garlic parmesan breadstick, freshly made to order pasta bowls. We're Mama DeLuca's pizza in the subway on Lammy Lane, and we hope to see you soon. When Neville Nation craves delicious fast food, there's only one place that comes to mind. Sonic Drive-In on North 18th. Whether it's a breakfast toaster on your way to work or school, one of the many lunch combos, a mid-afternoon Route 44 cold drink, a pre-game popcorn chicken, or a post-game Sonic Blast, the Sonic on North 18th Street has you covered. So drive through or park and wait for a friendly car hop today to find out why our Sonic is the Sonic on North 18th Street in Monroe. It's definitely Tiger approved. Do you suffer from frequent back or neck pain? Were you in an accident and can't get rid of those constant aches? Maybe you're someone who deals with chronic migraines and tension headaches. It might be time to see how Martinez Chiropractic can help you. The goal of Martinez Chiropractic is to reduce or eliminate pain in just a few sessions using the latest in chiropractic technology. Don't suffer in pain another day. Call Martinez Chiropractic today at 318-654-4310. 4310 or see him in person 1828 Tower Drive in Monroe. We welcome you back here to the Family Solutions broadcast booth here on the hollowed grounds of <laughs> Hoss Garrett Stadium That's right. here in Ruston, Louisiana, where the Ruston Bearcats coming in to this game 3 and 1 along with the Neville Tigers. Ruston with a big win last week against Lafayette Christian. They've also had wins over Jesuit, yeah, Cabot, Arkansas, Cabot, Arkansas, and Jesuit. That's correct. Both very, all three of those games were all, all very four close. games yeah. they've had this year. Very tight contest. Lost to Warren Easton in overtime. Uh, yeah, they had that game. They they won the first three and a half quarters. Yeah. Yes, and, and then uh, was, Easton came storming back and and uh, ended up catching them in overtime. And you know. Neville Tigers three and one with win, big win over North Cato last week. Yep. Wins over Huntington and Evangel Christian. That's correct. But before, as the Tigers are heading out to the field, but first let's talk about this rivalry between Rust and Neville. Neville leads the series fifty to forty three. With three ties, series dates back all the way back to 1931. And it's like Stewart said in the open, it's the second longest running rivalry in Louisiana. Only Haynesville and Homer. Homer. Haynesville and Homer are the only two that have us beat in that. Yep. That I think mark. they started in like 29. It's <laughs> <laughs> a long time ago. It's a long time ago. All right. Talk about the, uh, the last four meetings between these two teams, Will. So, yeah, last year in 2021, Neville defeated Rustin back at Bill Ruppel Stadium 27 24 in that very fourth down play by A.J. Allen to win that one. 2020, Neville plays at Grambling yep. against the Bearcats. That game went into double overtime. That was one, two of the more crazy games you've had where exactly. the loser plays better or whatever. 2019, <laughs> Tiger. Yeah. Tiger. Loser should have won the game. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Tigers beat Rustin 21-20, a great defensive effort. And last time we were here at Hoss Garrett Stadium, Rustin defeated yeah. the Tigers 41-7. to seven. Again, a couple times they played in the finals, 1982, Rustin wins, 1984, Neville wins. So some good matchups between the two. Now I'm going to throw it over to the color commentator, Robert Lane. Robert, let's yes, get sir. to your keys to the game. 
Yeah, tonight, <clears throat> offensively, we've got to protect the football. Uh, we can't give them any extra possessions yeah. tonight. Um, we, we, we don't want any turnovers. Uh, secondly, on offense, we've got to play physical. We've got to match the physicalness of this Ruston defense. They play really fast and really physical up front. And defensively, we need to play fast and, and discipline and, and create turnovers. Here come the Tigers. As you see them break through the banner, the band playing the familiar Tiger Rag. And we are live here from Ruston High School. We're getting ready. About 10 minutes, let's say what it says. Doesn't say anything on the clock up there. Just playing videos. About 9.22 until kickoff here. As you're watching us here on the Neville Tiger Network and also listening to us on Sunny 98.3. And you just heard from Robert Lane, Will Anders, uh, helping out. Uh, with his tailgate, what do, what do you call this? It's the tailgate show The Tiger now? Tailgate. The Tiger, Tiger tailgate. tailgate, that's Tiger. right, with Will Anders. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, we do have a quick, before we get to the captains, the wrestling didn't come out yet, let's check the weather. We're standing outside uncovered right now. So let's really hope this is a good weather par forecast from our friend Jared Floyd over there at KTVE. You guys know as it goes, there are not many perfect nights for football in North Louisiana, but tonight is a perfect night for football in North Louisiana. Kickoff temperature at 71 degrees. We look for temperatures to generally wrap up the night in the low to mid-60s, so maybe a light jacket for some. A light breeze that will also generally become calm as we work through the night. Again, perfect night across the entire region. Clear skies and may could uh, do something similar as we go toward next week as well. Guys, enjoy the game. Have a great call. All right, welcome back. It looks like a great forecast here for football. It's a little going to be a little cooler than it has been. It's kind of nice. You got the pullover yeah. on, and uh, I, I might be grabbing one myself. But as these two teams kind of get ready, we just saw the starting lineup on the video board here at Ruston High School. The captain should be coming out in just a minute uh, whenever Ruston comes out of their tunnel. But, you know, Robert, we were talking uh, earlier this week about the Ruston Bearcats, and Ruston, you know, as dynamic of a runner as like Dyson Fields has yeah. been, he's one of the leaders in the state of Louisiana, they haven't put up that many points. It's been their defense that's really been the uh, key factor for them. Yeah, no doubt about it. When you cut the tape on and watch these guys play offensively and defensively, both sides of the ball play really, really hard. They've got them coached up, and they play with great effort, especially on the defensive side of the ball. I mean, they yeah. fly around. Uh, all 11 players – are going to get to the ball, and it's going to be something that we hadn't really seen yet. But I think you know, hopefully, we'll be able to you know step up our game tonight and compete mm -hmm. with these guys. Well, what we see as you see the Rustin Bearcats take the field here behind us here at Hoss Garrett Stadium, that that it it really is going to. I think it's up to Neville to maybe dictate the pace of this yep. game. And you've seen the offense start to improve each and every week. They're getting some possession. Uh, receptions. Anzalone's been delivering the football, been very efficient yep. with uh, throwing the football, and Jalen Nichols seems to be getting better every week. I think it's going to take a combination of the two, a balanced attack here, to maybe stay in this game with a very talented Rustin yeah, football no, team. Yeah, no doubt about it. We've got we've to be uh, very disciplined up front tonight mm -hmm. offensively. We can't give them uh, the, the, the offside penalty or the person up foul fit penalty when we've got a drive going. We're going to have to capitalize on our drives, try to put the ball in the end zone every chance that we can. All right, we're going to take a little pause for the invocation here. Oh, 
And a, a wonderful rendition of uh, our national anthem by a young man from Ruston. And we're just about ready to get started. The captains have lined up on the, on the other side. Captains for tonight is for the Tigers is D'Angelo Woods. Is one of, and I'm trying to remember from the, uh, from, from the, from the pep rally. Uh, oh, and Jacob Robinson, number 11, Jacob Robinson. It looks like for the Rustin Bearcats over there, we've got number 29. That's Lejavian Ellis, number 28, Kendrick Jones, and number 17, Preston Gray. As you see, that shot down there from midfield. And this is the Great American Rivalry Series, Robert. That's why you see the military presence, the Marine Corps out there. But quickly, let's go out to the coin toss and Jason Ewing. Guys, this is a special ball game tonight. This is a, a rivalry game. We've got special guests and special captains on the field. This will be our official talk coin that we'll use for the toss. That will be heads, green will be tails. Neville, you're our guest, so you get to choose. What do you select? Heads. Heads is the call. Heard that. Staff Master Sergeant Pike. Staff Sergeant. Staff Sergeant Pike will be. And it is heads. You've won the toss. Defer. You'll receive. Which way you want to kick? Okay, you get on this side. All right, you heard it there. Thanks, Jason, for getting in the opening coin toss right there. The Tigers have won the toss. They will defer to the Bearcats. They're going to kick it away. Their backs will be to the scoreboard here at Ruston, the big video board there on the far uh, sideline. And I'm kind of lost. I don't know which is north and, and <laughs> south over, over here. But uh, as we're, yeah, from where we are, if right you now, saw there in the pregame, uh, we, uh, we have just – we're here in the end zone. So we've got uh, – we're about ready to kick things off. So the teams are about to get off there. And, I mean, we're two minutes away from, or from kickoff. Number nine, Jordan Hayes. And number 18, Logan Malone. Back deep for Russin is Jordan Hayes and Jordan Malone right in front of us here yeah. around the five-yard line. And there's Chandler Pettis ready to kick this off. You can see our vantage point is a little bit lower if you're watching on the network. But, hey, we're on the air. we got to do what we got to do. got to do right? what we got to do. All right. Uh, the whistle has blown, and we are underway here at Hoss Garrett Stadium. That's going to be taken by Andrew McClinton. McClinton. Is going to have it up to around the 25-yard line. And that's where the Rustin Bearcats will take over first down and 10. And you, you talked about a little bit on that defense. This Rustin offense is an eye formation. It's either an eye formation from under center, under center or in the shotgun you see it. Right. So they, they want to be a veer team. You know, they're going to run the dive and, and pull it and pitch it uh, from under center, and then they'll run the zone read with the pitch man uh, out of the shotgun. And then they'll, they'll take some shots in the passing game. We've seen this quarterback now this third year in a row, uh, and he's very talented, very athletic. That quarterback is Jaden Osborne, and he's going to hand it to the up back. That's Dyson Fields, Fields on the carry. On the carry. Looked like and Rudy Dozier you know, yep. came through and, and made the tackle. Might a short, uh, short gain. I guess the – 
short gain on the play. The ball's right at the 24-yard line, and we'd like to thank our friends there at Sleepy Hollow for being our first-half sponsor each and every game this season. Sleepy Hollow Furniture on Louisville. There's the snap. Once again, the gives to Fields, and another nice job. That time, I think it was Breland Robinson coming through and make it know that's actually D'Angelo Woods, one of, one of your captains, Field bringing carry. down Fields. He got about three on the carry. And, and that's going to be third down, down and Bears. six here for the Bearcats. Yeah, and Stewart, it's going to be a heavy dose of Fields tonight. Yeah. He, he's a, comparable to the Washtenaw running back that we faced earlier in the year sermon. And uh, now here they go five wide exactly uh, here on third down. Uh, Tiger defense looking to stop it. Osborne. Throws and completes his pass up the far sideline. That's going to be good for a first down. I believe that's number 18, Logan Malone. And a nice job of, of getting past the sticks and yeah. coming back to the football yeah, and there. A, and a good throw. He threw that ball where he needed it to be, you know, down and away for his guy to catch it and turn and get upfield and get the first down. Uh, looks like they just ran all hitches there. and yeah. It's, it's uh, softest covered, shortest throw, and that's what he did there. All right, first and ten for the Bearcats. That ball is right around the 37-yard line. They're going to hand this off to Fields, and he's taken down again. Rudy Dozier on the Fields stop. Short gain. Might have lost one, lost a half a yard. All right, let's take a look at the Tigers' defensive front. From left to right, you got Whiteley, Woods, Perkins, Fobbs White, and the linebackers are Dozier and Breland Robinson. How about the backfield, Robert Graves at strong safety. The free is Mari Neelam, Henry Cagle. Uh, the other safety, one of the corners is Alan Price. Hadn't got his picture yet, and Cam <laughs> Riley on the other corner. All right, there's the snap. Fields again. A little bit of running room around the right side. He's going to be brought down, let's see, across the 40. They're going to the put it around the 42-yard line. It's going to be third down, and third let's down. say five. That's about as good as I can tell from right here. <laughs> yeah. we're, we're taking a guess on the down and distance tonight. Um, but here we go, another third and you know, five, third and six like we had yep. uh, here a minute ago, and, and Rustin converted on, on it. Now they're under center in the eye. Yeah. Turn, hand the ball to Fields. He is clipped down. That's going to be short of the first down. Rudy Dozier's in there on that tackle again. Might have gained a couple. That's going to be fourth down and three. And you see Rustin muscling up, rustling up some players, and they're going to swap them out. And – punt this football away. Yeah, and right here is when you got to be disciplined. You, you can't jump off sides. Yeah. You know, it, it, a, an offside penalty gives, gives Rustin a first down. Uh, so, so let them punt it to you. Uh, catch the punt now and get our offense Bearcat on the field here 40, and put a drive Dollar. together. Richmond and kicker number 99, Will Findley. Kicker is number 99, Will Findley. He's standing around his 30-yard line. That's Breland Robinson back deep to receive for the Tigers, and that's a bad punt. Right off the side of his foot. And that might have gotten to the 50. Let's see where he, the referee is going to walk up to. The line judge is going to stop around, it looks like, the 45-yard line of Neville. So, man, a poor punt there yeah. from Finley. And, and this young man is a, is a pretty good kicker. Yeah, he just hit it off the side of his foot. Yep. Uh, just it went dead right. And Neville's going to start this first drive with really good field position. And uh, we'll see what, what we can get going uh, here on offense tonight. This Rustin defense, really, they, they run to the football. Their linebackers are good, and both defensive ends do a really good job. Nichols is back behind, or right next to Brooks Anzalone. Brooks has a snap. He's going to give it to Nichols. Being patient, waits for his hole. He's going to gain about three on the play out to the 48, and it's going to be second down and seven. Yeah, it looks like they just handed the zone play in there, and <coughs> Nichols fought his way for – a few yards, yeah, making it second. And, uh, second looks down. like second, second seven. seven. Yep. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the starting on the skills. It's Brooks Anzalone at quarterback. Nichols, the halfback wide receivers are Hanlon, Vaughn, and Gibson. We'll get to the line here after this play. Once again, handoff to Jalen Nichols. He's got a little running room. He crosses the 50 and out to the Rustin 46-yard line. Going to be second down and short for the Tigers. Maybe about a half – I mean, actually, third down and short. Maybe about a half a yard. And here's the offensive line for the Tigers. You got Hurd at left tackle, Will Hyde at left guard. The center is Taylor Quinn, Braden Blade, the right guard. Jaden Owens, the right tackle, and Mason Shelby, your tight end. There's the snap hand again to Nichols. He's going to get up the field, have the first down. 
That'll move the chains for the Tigers, and that's the first first down for the Tigers. And as always, it's brought to you by our favorite Sonic, the Sonic on North 18th Street in Monroe. Yeah, good run there by Nichols. Looked like he uh, was hit right at the line of scrimmage and fought through and was able to get a, a nice run there to get the first down and move these uh, chains. Ball's placed at the Rustin 39-yard line. Tigers with two tight ends there as they bring in Thomas Campbell. Pitch it out to Nichols. He's going to get a, a few yards, maybe less about four. Well, not that, about, <laughs> about two. As it'll be second down and eight now for the Tigers. Our depth perception is off down here. It is, uh, it is. We've got to get higher yep. up here. You know, Neville has had this ball, and they have not thrown a pass yet. Yeah. Um, we've, we've seen uh, this Neville offense really come together in the passing game, so you've got to expect a shot to be taken here soon. All right, here's the snap. Hand it off again. That's Nichols, and he's met in the hole. Let's see if I can't get the number. That's 21. Brylon Elmore. That's a gain of about three. It's third down and five for the Tigers. The ball is right at the Rustin 35-yard line. Yeah, big play here for the Tigers. They're kind of in the, you know, four-down territory, uh, just outside of the reach of your kicker maybe. And uh, you got to try to at least make this fourth and short. All right, third down and five as Anzalone looks into his coaching staff. Two wide to the near side. He's going to bring one in motion. They're going to hand this ball on the counter. That's Nichols. He's got a good, nice gain out to the 30. It's going to be close to first down yardage, and let's see where they mark it. It's going to be third down and a short one. They bring, once again, Thomas Campbell in. Two tight ends, and we've reached the first hydration timeout of the night. No score here. Six minutes to go in the first quarter. A one-minute break. We'll be back Man, with more Neville Tiger football. If you've been injured in an accident, you could be compensated in several different areas. You may have personal physical injuries. You may have financial injuries. You may have lost wages. These are all things that we can put our experience to work for to help you here at Parker Alexander. Being a strong team means accomplishing great things by working together. Being a Neville Tiger means striving for excellence in all things. Origin Bank and Neville High School share a long history of making a difference in our community. Together with the Food Bank of Northeast Louisiana, we're able to provide meals to children, families, and seniors facing hunger in Northeast Louisiana. Origin Bank and Neville Tiger football, always a winning combination. Origin Bank, member all right, welcome back. There's the handoff. Jalen Nichols has broken free. 10-5, touchdown, Tigers. 31-yard scamper from Jalen Nichols. Yeah, great drive there by the Tiger offense. Yep. Uh, and, and a great job by Nichols running the football. We, we had that whole drive and never threw a pass. Uh, that's encouraging to see that we're going to be able to move the ball, hopefully, against this good uh, Rustin defense. All right, we'll get back to that Parker Alexander replay here after this extra point. If you're just joining us back on the radio, they cut us short on the hydration timeout. Jalen Nichols took the fourth down play, 31 yards for a touchdown, and the Tigers are going to swap in to a standard extra point formation. Pettis's kick is up, and it's good. 5.53 to go in the first. Neville strikes first. They lead Rustin 7 to nothing. We'll be back after this 30-second break right here on the network and Sunny 98.3. Hey Neville Tiger Nation, this season if you find yourself feeling a little under the weather, visit Go Family Health on North 18th Street. They cover flu shots, sports physicals, sick visits, annual visits, or if nothing is wrong, they can do your regular checkup. Go Family Health has a happy staff, clean office, and they can take care of all your family's health care needs. This is Tiffany Tara with Go Family Health. We love our Neville Tigers, and we want to thank all of Neville Nation for always supporting Go Family Health. Well, and over the break, you and I were talking. That's a big drive for the yeah. Tigers. Uh, they went from 55 yards in just a few plays and never threw the football and scored on a 31-yard run from Jalen Nichols. The extra point is good. And now Chandler Pettis back out there to kick this one away. Once again, he gets this one well, and it's going to be into the end zone for a touchback. 
and the Bearcats are going to start at their own 20. Yeah, you got to expect here for you know the rusted offensive coaches to, to get over there and make some adjustments. Uh, you know, after that last drive, they got one first down, but Neville, you know, held them. It was it was a good drive for the Neville defense. Mm -hmm. So, got to expect some adjustments coming here. Uh, Neville's defense, you got to keep playing. Sidelines, Jason Ewing hadn't uh, checked in from you with you yet this evening. Tigers are fired up after that that 31 yard run. The Tigers are fired up, and I actually kind of eased into the locker room to listen to Tannehill's pregame speech, and uh, they were fired out coming out of the locker room. So. Uh, this is going to be a good game. According to a lot of the players, the, the practices this year were just a little bit more amped up. Yeah. Uh, Rustin week's always a big week. Here's yep. Osborne under the eye. He runs into field, and he's going to fall down. That's going to lose four yards on the play. Back to the 16-yard line. A little miscommunication on that one as uh, he – Osborne and Fields just ran into Yeah, it looked other. like one of them went the wrong way, and they met up in the backfield, and then Fields slipped down, so – uh, fortunate there for, for, for the Tiger defense. Brings up second and, what, about 14? Uh, yeah, 14. All right, second and 14. Bearcats with a single wide receiver to the far side. I can't see his number. <laughs> High backfield. Uh, Osborne under center. He's going to hand this one to the fullback, and he'll have a couple of yards, but not quite back to the original line of scrimmage. Let's give him three and make it second down and a long and 11. Yeah, just ran the option there uh, to the near side and uh, handed it, handed the dive, and the Tiger defense was there to stop him for a short game. Another third and long here for the, the Tiger defense. So, West, I mean, Rustin splitting four wide and having only fields in the backfield. Two to each side. 4.41 to go here in the first. Neville leads Rustin seven to nothing. Play action. The Tigers... Rush Osborne, he's still looking for anybody. He throws it to no one. That's got to be an intentional grounding because nobody was on this side of the field. They're going to say. Other than he was, out of, I guess, out of the pocket. Is I, that, I don't know in high know, school. Somebody has to clarify that. Yep. He was out of the pocket, yep. Yep. and he did get it past the line of scrimmage. Yep. Yep. So in college and in, in the pros, that is. Yep. But all of his receivers were to the right. Nice job by the Tiger yep. defensive ends to flush him and make him – run down the sidelines away from his receivers. Yep, yep. Good job by the defensive ends putting pressure and forcing the ball to be thrown out of bounds. All right, Finley trying again here. This time he is right at around his three-yard line. Breland Robinson sitting around the 50. Here's the punt. It's a better one as Robinson waves everybody away and it gets a nice rust and roll. It's going to be downed around the 31-yard line of Neville. And that's where they'll take – over their second possession of the evening. And another good defensive uh, stand there for the Tigers. Yeah, good job by the Tiger defense. And uh, nice job by the punter there from Rustin. He, he really flipped the field there. That's uh, a weapon. Uh, we saw his first punt go out of bounds, but he hit that one good. And the Tiger offense is going to start here, I believe, guessing kind of on the about the 30-yard line. Is that right? 31. 31? 31. Yeah. 31, yep. Um, so we'll see what happens here on this this drive for the Tigers. I'm, I'm assuming we're going to run the football like we did on the last well, drive. We'll see. That now they go uh, three wide, single setback. That's Nichols. We turn. This time Brooks Anzalone is going to keep it himself, makes a move in the backfield, but he's going to get met by a host of Rustin Bearcats. Going to gain a couple on it, and that's going to be second down and eight upcoming for Neville. Yeah, they just tried to run the zone read there, and the defensive end uh, – you know, played the play and, and, and had our quarterback and forced him inside, and, and uh, he did a good job. Brooks did a good job of getting up the field and making what he could out of that play and getting positive yards. And you got Hanlon on the far side. You've got Vaughn and Gibson to the near. Gibson in motion, comes to the inside. This time Anselm's looking to pass. He's getting pressured, and he's going to fall forward. He might have gained – a yard or two. Let's see and where they move up. Let's, I think they're going to give him a yard, Jordan, make it third down and seven for the Tigers. Yeah, it looks. I, I couldn't tell if we were trying to maybe throw the screen there or if, if we were going out for routes. The, the defensive line for Rustin did a very good job of getting pressure uh, and force Anzalone to just try to make it back to the line of scrimmage there. All right, third and seven for the Tigers. Anzalone back to pass, going to throw the screen. That's Nichols. He's got the first down and a little bit more. He's broken free. He's at the 30, the 20, 
He's going to be wrestled down around the 10 or 11 yard line. That's a great play call. That, I mean, I've watched tape, and, and Rustin has been susceptible to the screen. Yeah. And that was the perfect time to call it. They're rushing the quarterback. They just had some success in getting to the quarterback, uh, throw the screen, well executed, and big time play on, on third and long to, to uh, not only get the first down, but it was a big play. You see it here on the on the replay. Well, it was a nice job. No, that's the play, the, before. the play before. Okay, we'll get that straightened out. All right, Tigers, first and 10 from the 11-yard line of Russin. They're going to turn, hand this to Jacob Robinson out of the backfield. He spins forward. Nice, tough run there yep. from the former tight end uh, and, and one of the captains tonight. Gains four. It's first, second down, and six. Yeah, and and Jacob, six. Jacob was out last week, I believe, with an ankle injury. An ankle. Yep. Good to have him back now as another weapon in this backfield and, and as a receiver. They swap Jacob out with Jalen Nichols. And the Tigers have it inside the Rustin Bearcat 10 at the 8. 2.18 to go here in this first quarter. Neville leads Rustin 7 to nothing. Going to bring Caleb Vaughn across the formation. Snap back. Anzalone looking to throw, and he tries to swing pass to Nichols, and it's read perfectly. That was number 19, Ja'Korian Crow. Yeah, it looks like he came from the safety spot, yep. and he had that play sniffed out from the start. Tigers lose a couple of yards back to the 10-yard line, and it's third down and nine. Tigers can't get a first down inside the one. Anzalone is back. Three bunched receivers to the near side, one to the far. Anzalone looking to throw. Got time. Ball's tipped at the line, and it's going to fall incomplete. I didn't see the Bearcat. I think it might have been 91. Jordan Gidry, who got a hand on that pass. Let's see here on the – and it was. 93. Yeah, it was 93, the defensive end over here to this side. Um, I got you. Okay, yeah. Amon yeah. Bro. Which he's a he's a very very good player. Um, he's actually a, a junior, 6'3", 240 pounds. Well, the Tigers are going to set up for a 27-yard field goal. There's a Bearcat was offside. Yeah. The ball was punt was blocked, and then it's picked up by the Bearcats. It was tackled, but well, the it was a clearly offside. Wow. Let's see it on the wow. on the replay here. That's no, the that's, 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 the, that's the the next. Yeah, here we go. Let's check this replay out. But, but as it stands, the the field goal is blocked here, and you see that was a a, a really good jump. Yeah. Let's call it yeah. a really good jump. Bearcats are going to take over after that stop on their own seven yard line. Once again, Tiger defense has to step up. Tiger offense did. I mean, had a nice job. Uh, Driving it yeah, down the field, yeah. just stalled out there in yeah. the red zone. Unfortunate break there for the Tigers. Handoff here to Fields. He's got a couple of yards across the 10 to the 11. Fields on the carry. Going to make it uh, second Henry down Cagle. and six for the Tigers. Henry Cagle on the stop. Four-yard game brings up second and six. For Neville. Well, that's a little better than they've done on the first down in the last couple of yep. – Drives. Once again, Osborne under center. High backfield. Two receivers to the near side. Osborne calls for it. Brody Whiteley was able to hold up there. Turn around, hand it to Fields. Fields slicing through a little traffic. He's going to have the first down out to the 21 yard line. That'll move the chains for Rustin. Cam Riley on the stop for the Tigers. Good, good hard run there by Fields. He broke a couple of tackles and <clears throat> was able to squeak out the first down there to keep these chains going for the Bearcats. And this, this Neville defense has got to try to get a stop here. You don't want you don't want Rustin to keep this ball and drive all the way down the field. Now, 26 seconds and counting. I don't know why the clock is up there. It says it's got .9 yeah. on the back side of that. Another handoff. This is Fields to the right side. He's going to be stood up. Breland Robinson, the first man there. They're going to blow the whistle after a gain of a, 
let's call it two yards. Second down and eight upcoming for the Bearcats. Yeah, good job by the, the – looks like Breland, uh, you know, Ed Linebacker, Rudy Dozier was in there. Yeah. It was a host of Tigers that had him. Uh, and Wadley might have been in there yeah. as well. Tigers doing a good job. They rotate Fobbs and Watley, swap sides. But that's going to be the last play of the first quarter. Folks, Tigers lead the Bearcats 7 to nothing. We'll be back for the second quarter of play right after this 30-second break. I'm Dr. Scott Shelby with Family Solutions. When you hear the words Family Solutions, you may not know that we're a comprehensive, strength-based counseling and psychiatric clinic. Family Solutions provides psychiatric care, individual and couples therapy, child and adolescent counseling, psychological testing, medication management. We also provide occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech therapy, and ABA therapy in one convenient location. For more information on how we can help your family today, visit FamilySolutionsCounseling.org. Welcome back, everybody, into the Family Solutions broadcast booth. Stuart Shelby, Robert Lane, Jason Ewing bringing you tonight's game between the Tigers and the Bearcats. And we're, we're proudly broadcast every Friday night over the air on Sunday 98.3. And also you can find us on the Neville Tiger Network on all of our apps and YouTube and all of that jazz. So they flip the field, Robert. The Tigers holding on to a 7 to nothing lead. Rustin still kind of deep in their territory but the first quarter of play like what we've seen from now yeah, yeah this is going to be a, a battle we like we expected mm. uh, both teams are, are very good football teams and you know first quarter went by pretty fast yeah uh, a lot of running uh in that uh, actually i think there was maybe two passes thrown yeah and that was both by neville <laughs> exactly or yeah. attempted by uh, neville all right here's the second down and eight play osborne is going to turn and look to throw he swings it out I think that's number 29 that has it. He's broken free down the sideline. It's going to be wrestled down around the Neville 30. Yeah, it looks like they just slipped the fullback out in the flat, yeah. and uh, Neville was was selling out to the run, and like they, you know, been stopping the run. So great call there by the Rustin offense, and he had some blockers uh, out execution. in front of him. Yeah. And you're right, it's for Marlon Elam, able to bring down. That's LeJavian Ellis, the fullback. All right, first and 10 Bearcats from the Neville 30. Turn, handed off to Fields, and he's met in the hole hard. That was – Fobbs was in there. Yeah, look, I believe Rudy, Rudy might have been yeah. in there as well. So, Fobbs, White, and Rudy Dozier in there on the stop. Hey, and just to clarify, you got a text. I got a text from one of my old classmates, Tony McGee, that said they did change the rule in high school. If you're out of the tackle box, you get it to the – Line of scrimmage. That's no no grounding. So, just in case that happens right. again, we won't we won't question it. All right, Osborne under center. We're going to say I backfield a lot, folks. This time they split wide receivers one to each side. Turn hand to Dyson Fields. He tries to spin out of a tackle. It looks like and Hen does yeah, Henry Cagle there. Yeah, was. Henry Cagle came up to finish him off. Dyson Gain of a couple. It's going to be third down and four. Six. For the, Tiger, for the Bearcats. Yeah, big play here for the Tiger defense. Like to get a stop. Uh, you don't know what this Rustin offense has up their sleeve. They've got a lot of different formations that they show. Obviously, here they come out in the eye again. Uh, looks like they're going to try to uh, hand it, get the ball to Fields again. Extra linebacker coming in for the Tigers, and they're going to go with the option. And they had him tackled. In the backfield, yeah. a nice move by Osborne to kind of freeze the linebacker. That's going to get him the first down. He needed about three and got three and a half. Yeah, they just That's ran, move the chains. Ran the veer and, and quarterback pulled it, and, and we just didn't quite have enough discipline to you know stick to the quarterback. We went upfield and he tucked it under, and we, we tackled him there for for just a. It was really a short game, but just enough for the for the first down there. All right, the ball is placed at the twenty yard line of Neville, just inside the twenty on the Neville side of it. So first and 10, Rustin, they're driving, 8, 9.59 to go here as Osborne looking to pass. He throws this well short of his intended receiver. Osborne's pass intended for number 91. He was, for number yeah. one, Aaron Jackson. He was pass looking for Aaron Jackson, Jackson the former Neville yeah. Tiger, who moved back to Rustin this year. So uh, you remember him from yeah, last year at yeah, wide receiver. Yeah, yeah. So second down and 10 now for 
the tiger. I mean, for the Bearcats. I'm going to say that right. <laughs> I said that wrong. Tigers five and Bearcats. Times. Tigers and Bearcats. Oh my. <laughs> Osborne under center, single receiver to the near side. They're going to turn, hand it to Fields. He's wrapped up close to the line of scrimmage. Nice push there by the Tiger front. Field on the and gate. Fields Tackle got about eight. three. Eight. So it's going to be second, da third down and seven down here down. for Bearcats. the Bearcats. Yeah, we've done a, a good job of stopping the inside run. They, you know, they like to run the lead and the counter and, and the power and – uh, Neville's defensive line is doing a good job uh, freeing the linebackers up to be able to get up in the hole and make the tackle at the line of scrimmage or, or yeah. just after the line of scrimmage. The Tigers can hold them right here. A field goal attempt would be a win after that big big swing pass play. Osborne looking to pass. Once again, he's going to throw it, and it's caught. That's Jackson. Actually, Dylan Roan. Wait. That is Aaron Jackson. Mine says Dylan Roan, but it's Aaron Jackson on yep, yours. Yep. It's because mine says 2021. <laughs> That's why. <sighs> That's okay. How many of these things? There we go. I got the right one out. <laughs> Handoff to Fields. He's still on his feet. He's going to be brought down around the three-yard line. Is there right in front of us here? And it's going to be second down and goal. Actually, the two-yard line. Second down and goal from the two. Watley on the stop for the Tigers. Hand off to Fields again. Watley was the first man there. They're trying to hold him up at the line of scrimmage, but Fields too strong. He's going to punch it in, and the Bearcats are on the board. Yeah, good hard run and a great drive by the Bearcats. You know, they, they converted and had the long uh, pass to the fullback out of the flat. That was the play that set this drive up for the score. And I don't know how many plays that was, but it was, it was a, a lot. Yeah, it was a lot. And that Tiger defense is going to need to get over here and get some rest. All right. Holding number 84, Matt Garrett. And your kicker, number 99, Will Finley. Will Finley set for the extra point trial right here. Snaps back. The kick is up. And it's good with 8.20 to go in the first half. It's all tied up at 7 here. We'll be back in 30 seconds right after these messages. Sleepy Hollow Furniture and the Falk family proudly support our Neville Tigers. Just like the wide variety of athletics and academics Neville excels in, Sleepy Hollow offers your premium mattresses and adjustable bases. Every kind of home furniture and just in time for your favorite season, quality in-stock patio furniture ready for the big game. Come shop your Neville Tiger family at Sleepy Hollow Furniture. All right, welcome back, everybody, into the Family Solutions broadcast booth. You get a live look at where that is located here around the goal line yep. here in the end zone at Ruston High School. The Bearcats, Dyson Fields gets on the – the Bearcats on the board with a two-yard touchdown plunge. Tigers fought for it. This is going to be the way it's shaping up. It's going to be a typical Rustin Neville matchup. Yeah, no doubt about it. You can't make any mistakes and you know, got to protect the football on, on the offense. We don't want to give them an extra drive uh, with the football to have a chance to score. Uh, Neville's going to need to go down and answer uh, here. The good thing is we've had some success. R.J. Brown with the little pooch kick. That's going to be taken in by number five at around the 30-yard line. He's going to get a nice little gain. That's Kari Hughes. Let's see where they mark it. I can get the camera on that guy. It's probably going to be around the 40-yard the line. 40-yard line. Thanks, Jason Ewing. Yeah. Doing, doing the, work, the hard work <laughs> there on the sidelines. As uh, It's a hard vantage point for, for us right here. Correct. All right. So here comes the Tiger offense back out. You know, that last drive really didn't have a tight end involved in most of that last right. drive. And they bring back out Thomas Campbell here with this one. They're going to hand the football off to Jalen Nichols. He's going to try to follow Campbell. He's going to maybe have a couple, about one. Be second down and nine here for the Tigers. Yeah, Rustin's bunched up in there. They're, they're really selling out to try to stop this run game that yeah. Neville has been able, been able to have some success with tonight. Uh, maybe time to maybe take a little play action shot. Yeah. Uh, something like that, maybe loosen these guys up a little bit. 
All right, second down and nine. Anzalone moves Campbell to the left side. Steps up, play action. He's looking for, who was that? That was Hanlon, yeah. and that ball was just thrown high. Yeah. He's looking for a quick slant. It looked like it may be an RPO there. Yeah. Uh, he pulled it and just, it, it's a quick throw, and a lot of times you see, see guys miss high because it is such a quick throw. It's, it's almost yeah. got to be like a shortstop. You've got to get the ball in and out. All right, third down and nine here for the Tigers. They're going to split three out to the wide side in bunch formation. Anselm looking to pass. Has time. Throws it. And incomplete. Had to get it over a linebacker. He was looking for Caleb Vaughn. Just couldn't drop it yeah. in over there for him. Yeah, it looked like they ran the flood route out of, out of bunch, you know, to the field. And uh, had an open man. It was a tough throw. Had to throw it over the flat defender. Uh, and just overthrew it just a hair there. Uh, the, the, the Rustin defensive line is doing a good job of getting up the field and uh, playing First, fast. Yeah. All right, here's the, the snap from Gerald back to Pettis. He gets this punt away. It's a nice punt. Back to Aaron Jackson. He calls for a fair catch, and he has it at a round. It looks like the 25-yard line. And they'll have first and 10. And So the Bearcat defense responds. Yep. And, uh, Jason Ewing, you uh been down there watching this. I mean, it's it's been more – even though it's 7-7 seven to seven here, it's been a pretty much a defensive struggle. It has. You know, I, you know, Neville missed the opportunity right there on that last field goal, but it, it's definitely been right back and forth. And you have kind of feel like Neville's got a little momentum. It's just we need another big play to kind of open it up. Yeah, the Tiger defense – Needs to bow his neck. That ball's right there on, looks like, the 26-yard line. Going to hand this to Fields. That's the workhorse. He's going to get that ball a lot. You're going to yeah. hear me say that a lot. Didn't get much on that one. It looks like no gain on the play. It's going to be second down and 10 for the Bearcats. Yeah, it looked like they just ran the counter again, and uh, either that or the lead. I mean, it's, it's going to be a fullback kicking out or a fullback leading with Fields right behind him. Um, pretty much this, you know, tonight. That's what they do. Yeah. Fullback is, yeah, Ellis. He's the one that caught the pass. Yep. <clears> that got him, the Bearcats down, kind of the catalyst for that scoring drive. They're going to turn, hand it to Ellis this time, and he has stood up at the line of scrimmage, pushed backwards. Based on, I, I can't tell where the line well, judge is, but it didn't look like he had much of a no, game. No, no, they stuffed him there at the line of scrimmage and pushed him back, probably marking with forward progress with maybe a yeah. yard gain. Yeah, third and, third and nine, yeah. I believe, upcoming here for the Bearcats. All right, another chance for the Tiger defense to step up here. Third and long here for Rustin. Six seconds. We might get to the hydration yeah. timeout before they snap the football, and we will. Right there. So that's going to be the hydration timeout. So we're going to take one as well, a 30-second break. We'll be back with more Neville Tiger football right here on Sunny 98.3 and the Neville Tiger Network. If you've lost a loved one through the fault of someone else, call Parker Alexander today or visit parkeralexander.com for more information or to schedule an appointment. All right, coming out of this hydration timeout, a big third down upcoming for the Tiger defense. Rustin facing a third nine from about their own what, is, what do you say that is, right, like they're 28, yep. a 27-yard line? So we're going to get back to action here and see if the Tigers can get a stop. Play action. Osborne has a lot of time. He throws this one just down right, in the yeah. ground. Great coverage there yep. by the Tiger def they, defensive backs. The, Rustin went play action, and we're okay. going to try to run the little slip screen with the back, and Neville did a good job of covering it. Uh, they, the goal is to try to spread everybody out fake the zone read and, you know, uh, slip it out to the back there. And, and again, Neville forced Rustin to punt. Uh, great stop yeah. there for the Tigers. Back-to-back -back three and outs yeah. for, for each respective 
defense, and I don't think that's Finley back there. I think that's the other the other guy. This is uh, R.J. Brown set to punt it away. Kind of a rugby style. Gets a nice roll, and it's going to be down inside the 20. So Brown flips the field nicely for the Bearcats. And with 5.45 to go in this first half, we're still tied up at seven. Yeah, it's been back and forth, and it's a you know Neville Rustin game. This yeah. is what you expect. It's what it's been the last uh, two years for sure. Uh, you know, Neville lost in, in a double overtime. Uh, there yeah. We played at Grambling. That was during the COVID year. And then last year, uh, A.J. Some Allen. crazy finishes yeah, on yeah. the last couple uh, of years. A.J. Just Allen crazy caught, finishes. Yeah, he yeah. caught a touchdown on the last play of the game, and it was a long touchdown. And yeah, it was a was flag. It, there was a flag. That might give Russin a, yeah, a first, first down. down. I didn't see the flag. Jason. I oh, know. So that's a first and ten for Rustin. Yeah. Yeah, it had to have been a personal foul because it's 15 yards, but yeah. I, don't, I didn't see it. It had they to have been. Roughing the punter on a rugby style anyway. RJ, all right, Bearcats, had to, that's had to be what it was Yeah. over there on the side. The fly, I saw the referee picking the flag up in the In, in the that vicinity. Field. Yeah, it was the white hat that flew it, so, threw it, so it must have been. Uh, well, that's going to give Rustin new life. Let's yep. see here. We'll what, look, take a look at it here on the Parker Alexander replay. Yep, there it is. Yeah, and there it is. That is rough in the punter. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> he got it right. He got it right. And, uh, okay, so first down play went for a yard. Second down and nine here from the Rustin 43-yard line. Osborne looking to throw. Going to loft this one up down the sideline. Nobody there as there was nice coverage. I believe that's Allen Price on the far sideline. And nice coverage from that young man. Yeah, good job of using the sideline. And looked like the throw was uh, a little out of bounds also. But good yep. coverage there by the Tiger uh, defender there. to uh, hey, use that sideline yep. to it's his the 12th man. benefit. Yep, third down and nine for the Bearcats again. And the Tiger defense get another stop. Yep. Osborne in the shotgun this time. Straight drop back, looking to throw. He is hit when he, while he threw, and that ball falls incomplete. We thought that Robert Graves might have had a chance yeah. at that football, but it was underthrown. I believe he was hit as he threw. Yeah, it looked like a Neville defender hit him there in the back kind of as, as he threw. We'll watch it here on the replay. Uh, yeah, that's got Fobbs. His Fobbs got, yeah, got, got in arm. there, yeah. yeah. So, okay. That's R.J. Brown once again in there to punt it for the Bearcats. So the Tiger defense stands again. This, this is low. They're going to stay away from him here. He punts it away from Robinson. Ball bounces around the 25-yard line and then keeps going forward and 40. Probably saved the Tigers a couple of yards <laughs> as he picks it up at the 14. He, uh, he wanted and, that and ball. He wanted that ball. <laughs> And uh, yeah, we got it. We're taking over back at the 19 like, you know, nothing it, ever happened. Exactly. Yeah. It just ran a few more, a few ticks off the clock. As, uh, the, and you, when you see the clock go away on our scoreboard here, if you're watching on the Neville Tiger Network, that means that the clock goes away on their scoreboard because that's how we read our clock on here. See, that pops back up. Yep. They played an ad, clock goes away. So 4.42 to go here. In this first half, Neville 7, Rustin 7. First and 10 for the Tigers from the 14-yard line. Snaps back to hand this to Nichols. Tries the middle of the field. He's going to get a yard, and that's it. Be second down and nine for the Tigers. Yeah, Rustin defensive line did a good job there. They're, they're pinching their defensive ends and trying to squeeze our run game. Um, you know, we've tried you know, yeah. pulling it and running Brooks a couple of times, and uh, I'd like to maybe see Vaughn get the ball on a, a, a speed sweep or something like that to try to stretch this defense. All right. Second down and nine for the Tigers. Anzalone's going to put Thomas Campbell in motion. He was split wide to the right. Play action. They look for Gibson. They've got him. 
but he's hit immediately. It's going to be a, a gain of about five. Maybe let's call it four. It's going to be third down and five for the Tigers. Good job of holding on to the ball there by Gibson. Yeah. Good catch, good throw. Well, setting up a third and short here. All right, the Tigers are going to split four wide. Gibson to the far side. You've got Vaughn, Hughes, and Hanlon all to the near. Nichols besides Anzalone. He's going to hand it to Jalen Nichols, and he's going to be wrapped up at the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Tried to fool him there yeah. by going four wide, and uh, Bearcats weren't Jordan. fooled at all. And the Tigers are going to have to punt this football away. Clock running, 3-14 and counting here in this first half. Yeah, you would like to have seen us you know, get a first down or two there uh, really to milk the clock. Yeah. You know, here it is, three minutes right before half. It sure would be nice to go in 7-7 seven to seven at halftime here at Ruston. All right, Drew Gerald snaps it back. This punt off the side of the foot of Chandler Pettis. It does take a Neville roll. It's going to get a little better, but not a great punt. It's going to go out of bounds at the Neville 45-yard line. So, Flipping the field, we did not. No, right that, there, and that was an important punt right there. It would have been nice to hit a good one and uh, uh, like give them the length of the field. Uh, yeah, they're gonna have it. Uh, looks like yeah, j just on the other side of the 50, uh, or, or maybe their side of the 50, uh, here to start this drive. With yeah, it's on, it's on our 45. Yeah. All right, thanks to Sleepy Hollow Furniture. Uh, whether it's your home, your mattress, your patio, they got you covered. You need to go by and see. Uh, Joe Tiffany Falk and her team there uh, and check out their fine showroom. It's on the corner of 9th and Louisville in Monroe. All right, here's Rustin and Jaden Osborne. He's going to turn and look to throw. Swings it out. He's looking for Ellis again, and he throws it a little bit behind him, and it's incomplete. Yeah, had him there in the flat. Uh, that, that's the second. That's the play that they ran that they hit the big play on uh, the last drive to set up the score. And uh, – they leaked him out again, yeah. and he was open. Just The ball was thrown behind him, and he wasn't able to make the grab. Second down and ten, as you see this on the replay. Dozier was a lot closer to yeah. him that time than they were the previous <laughs> yeah. time. But uh, either way, it's incomplete. Second down and ten. Osborne's going to hand this to Fields. And he's got a couple. As he crosses the 45 out to, Fields say, the 43-yard line. Be third down and seven. Here for the Tigers. Two twenty-seven to go. Here in the first half, Neville and Rustin all tied up at seven. Yeah, and with Rustin, are they going to go four or five wide here? Or are they going to be in the eye and run the veer? You don't know. Uh, looks like they're coming out in the eye formation here with a tight end. Another well, third down opportunity for the Tigers. Tiger defense has done a good job on third down thus far tonight. See if it continues. Osborne looking to throw. He throws the quick hitch, and it's caught. The receiver forced out of bounds. And that's Aaron Jackson. He's going to have the first down for the Bearcats, and that's going to stop the clock with 1.55 to go here in this first half. Yeah, you know, we're playing soft coverage there and on third and, you know, seven. We let yeah. him get to the sticks and make an easy throw, and uh, we, he missed the tackle, and it creates a big play there for the Bearcat offense to – Keep those chains moving. Nose of the football at the Neville 30. Clock running. At a minute 38. No team has used a timeout to this point. The Bearcats might think about it there as they give it to Fields, and there's a flag at the end of that play. Hayes on the carry. Comes on in. Brody, Actually, that's Hayes on the carry. Let's get to – it's against – it's, it's offside. No, it's personal foul. They did – well, if that should be offset, and he, he pointed both I, ways. I, I think he made a mistake. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Maybe it was offset. No, they're moving it. They're going to move this against I, the Tigers. As we see this. I mean, it was a scrum was there a scrum at the at whistle, the end. but it wasn't it – wasn't, uh, I don't, a I don't know. personal foul. I don't. That's not gonna, that I saw. That's going to move the football down to the 15-yard line, and it'll be first and 10 from the 15. A minute 23 to go, and now Coach Tannehill is wanting a timeout. 
He wants to talk about this. He's not happy about that call. No, and, and rightfully so. Uh, time out on the field. We're going to take one, too. A 30-second break. We'll be back with more Tiger football after these messages. Mama DeLuca's pizzas are custom made, fresh to order right in front of you. We offer three different sizes of pizza, 9, 12, or 14 inch. Mama DeLuca's pizza is prepared to your order. The pizza cooks in less than three minutes. We have 16 different toppings to choose from, eight unique sauces to complete your pizza. In addition to pizzas, we offer to our customers boneless wings with your choice of a dipping sauce. Mama DeLuca's pizza offers delicious garlic parmesan breadstick, freshly made to order pasta bowls. We're Mama DeLuca's pizza in the subway on Lammy Lane, and we hope to see you soon. All right, big personal foul penalty against the Tigers has put the ball at the Neville 15-yard line. And, Robert, it's kind of just been we needed to flip the field. Yeah. We got a, a kind of a, a poor punt. Then you, you stop them, you have them backed up, and then a, a, you get the personal foul a personal foul penalty. The, penalty. the personal you know? foul was uh, on Rudy continuing to try and strip the ball after the, fly, after the whistle was blown. Okay, here's – was that – is that three? That was, that was Fields. Oh, that was Fields? Okay. Yeah. Um, no. It was three. Was that Brantley? No, that's Dyson Fields. That's Dyson. Okay. I thought I, I saw a three flash in front of me. Either way, Fields for a couple out to the about the 13-yard line. Second down and eight for Russin as they're trying to move quick. Once again, Fields has it. He's hitting the backfield, spins out of that tackle. He might have gained a yard. Uh, and as you say, he fumbled the football. The Tigers have the football. No signal. From anyone, the they're blowing it dead. But I don't know what they're they're saying here. Is we're looking at the replay in slow motion here. Fields fighting for yards. Looks like a helmet was put on the football by Elam. Ball comes out, and the Tigers come up with it, and they're going to say. It's Tiger football. They I don't. Hadn't, they they hadn't haven't made it said clear yet. Yeah. But looks like it's a there's timeout. a timeout. Yeah, there's a timeout. So it's and there's been no signal. Still no signal. It looks like if there's if there's no signal. Yeah, then it's, it's then it's, be it's Rustin's ball, football. Yeah. All right, so a timeout on the field. We'll keep it here, but <clears throat> you know the bounces aren't going the Tigers' way. I mean, yeah. like an excessive stripping of the football at the end of a scrum is. That's kind of a ticky-tack personal yeah, foul. Yeah, no, I agree. And, and you know, it wasn't anything blatant. And Coach Tannehill's trying to plead his case here. But it didn't look like a lot of movement from any of the officials no, it, yeah, after yeah, that after yeah. that play. But, all right, so it should be – that should be third down, right? Yeah. It, it's third down yeah, and eight – or third down and seven here for the Bearcats. Tigers up to dude, look Osborne looking for Jackson in the corner of the end zone, and it is caught. Nice throw, nice catch by the former Neville Tiger in the corner of the end zone, and the Bearcats have tacked on six more. Yeah, good throw there and, and good call. You know, it's one on one out here. Yeah, uh, through the fade, great throw and a wonderful catch there. Yeah, Cam the Riley was uh, Cam Riley was on the coverage and he was. With him step for step, but you couldn't have thrown a better pass. And Osborne just dropped a dime in there on Aaron Jackson. Okay. Here's Findlay to kick the extra point. Snaps back. The kick is up. And it's good. So with 43 seconds to go in the half, Rustin takes the lead 14-7. to We'll take a 30-second break. We'll be back on the other side to finish this one out. Call David's Mobile Detail and Power Wash for all your detailing and power washing needs and soft washing capabilities, too. They detail cars, trucks, ATVs, UTVs, boats, and even planes. They offer commercial and residential hot water power washing on nearly all surfaces, including concrete, wood, and stucco. Give them a call, 547-3233, or visit them online at davidsmobiledetail.com. Or stop by 2501 Washington Street in Monroe. David's Mobile Detail and Wash, proud supporter of of Neville Tiger football. Welcome back, everybody. As the Bearcats they haven't changed it on the scoreboard, but it's 14 to nothing. See if uh, 
Benjamin Burkett can hit it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he hit that number <laughs> right there. All right, so 43 seconds to go in this first half. The Bearcats with a, a late drive, got a short field there after that three and out by the Tigers, and they capitalize, and they lead – Neville, 14-7. to seven. Let's see if, what the Tigers do. They will receive that second-half kick, kickoff, but will they try to kind of get some up-tempo here here to end the first half? Kick is a, a pooch short one. It's taken by D'Angelo. Not D'Angelo. That's not D'Angelo Woods. That's Tamarian Wade. He's that number eight. He's yeah. the, the one that might run the football. And he's going to get it out to about the, what are they going to spot it? The 36-yard line. And that's where the Tigers will have it first and 10. Yeah, Neville's going to start this drive with, you know, 37 seconds left. Uh, you know, you, you definitely don't want to turn the football over. Yeah. Probably, I would think, go out here and, and just take a knee and go into halftime 14-7. to seven And, and uh, you've played well offensively and defensively. You've got to be proud of how these guys yeah. have played. Uh, in the in this first half, go in and make some adjustments and come out and play the second half. Tigers double tight end, split wide receivers to either side. They're going to hand this football off. Jalen Nichols tries to cut it back at around the 40. Going to have a nice gain on the of about, on the say, four. Second down and six here for the Tigers. 22 seconds remaining. Another snap, another handoff. That's Nichols. A flag comes in on the far sideline. Clock's going to stop while we see what happens with this. It looks like they got 12 men. Rustin had a guy Nichols trying to come off. Play, That's going to be 12 men on the field against the Bearcats. That will get the Tigers close to a first down. If that's the case, they're talking about it. And they're waving, waving it, off. it off. Yeah, they talked themselves out of it. Yeah. So <laughs> I guess I there wasn't. Well, there was one running off, but uh, <laughs> he might have he might have gotten it. off. Yeah. Might have made it. Okay. So nothing happened. The clock's running here as they blow it in play. Third down and six. Tigers, if they snap it, are going to snap it with maybe two seconds. They might not. Three, two, one. They're not going to get it off. And that's going to be the end of the first half. The first it's been an entertaining half, first half. Bearcats, lead the Neville Tigers, 14, Bearcats come out with a 14-7 and 14 to 7 lead, Robert. Yeah, it was a battle that first half. Uh, Neville played well, both, yeah. both sides of the football. Two good football teams. This second half is going to be a war out here. Uh, You've got to go in and make some adjustments offensively and defensively. Uh, defensively, we've done a good job of stopping the run yeah. game in, in Dyson Fields. That's what they do. Yeah. Uh, if he has success, this football team has success, and Neville's going to have to figure out a way offensively to create some drives, keep keep the ball, take some time off the clock in the second half, and, and score some points. Yeah, special teams too. Field position's a big key with the way they've been stopping the run. You know, the big yeah. play, it came, the two big plays have been really the only big play from Rustin's side was the, the uh, little uh, – Release the when they yeah, release the, the fullback yeah. out, and then Jackson's touchdown yeah. here. That's really been about it. Yeah. They've had to earn every yard other than that here uh, this evening. All right, 14 to 10 is your halftime score. We're going to toss it on Sunday 98.3 to Big Dave Robinson and his crew for to get you updated from some scores around the area. Uh, on the Neville Tiger Network side, we're going to take a – a break, and when we come back, we will have the Go Family Health halftime report. So, radio, Big Dave Robinson Network. We're going to go to a break, come back with some halftime stuff. We've got Tiger Beat. We've got uh, some scores from around the area and Ladies stats and gentlemen, from the first the half. So, stay tuned for that. We'll be right back. DIC. Being a strong team means accomplishing great things by working together. Being a Neville Tiger means striving for excellence in all things. Origin Bank and Neville High School share a long history of making a difference in our community. Together with the Food Bank of Northeast Louisiana, we're able to provide meals to children, families, and seniors facing hunger in Northeast Louisiana. Origin Bank and Neville Tiger football, always a winning combination. Origin Bank, member FDIC. 
Sleepy Hollow Furniture and the Falk family proudly support our Neville Tigers. Just like the wide variety of athletics and academics Neville excels in, Sleepy Hollow offers your premium mattresses and adjustable bases. Every kind of home furniture and just in time for your favorite season, quality in-stock patio furniture ready for the big game. Come shop your Neville Tiger family at Sleepy Hollow Furniture. If you've lost a loved one through the fault of someone else, call Parker Alexander today or visit parkeralexander.com for more information or to schedule an appointment. Nation craves delicious fast food, there's only one place that comes to mind, Sonic Drive-In on North 18th. Whether it's a breakfast toaster on your way to work or school, one of the many lunch combos, a mid-afternoon Route 44 cold drink, a pre-game popcorn chicken, or a post-game Sonic Blast, the Sonic on North 18th Street has you covered. So drive through or park and wait for a friendly car hop today to find out why our Sonic is the Sonic on North 18th Street in Monroe. It's definitely Tiger approved. We welcome you back here to the halftime show presented by Go Family Health located on North 18th Street in Monroe. As the Neville Tigers currently trail the Rustin Bearcats here 14 to 7. But before we get into stats and scores, check out this week's edition of Tiger Beat presented by the Neville Varsity Speech Squad. Here it is. How about your Best Lesbian and Vice President Elena Chadwick. And I'm four star international Lesbian and Chaplain Samaj Barnes, and this is ESPN. ESPN. Brought to you by the Mill Varsity Speech Squad. The point of ESPN is to liven up the school and the student body and get them all riled up for the nice big game every Friday night. After we're gone, I hope it still pretty much you know remains the same. Um, as far as the people up here, I hope they remain creative and um, have fun with it, you know stick to what they know and what they feel like is best. Um, and also be able to manage their time um, <laughs> because we do a lot of improv, which it comes out great, but like it's very stressful. No one can tell. No, no, no one tells, no one tells, but. Our special shout out this week goes to none other than DJ Debbie behind the scenes. Yeah. Hey Tigers, don't forget our homecoming is next Saturday, October 8th from 8 to 11 p.m. Our theme is Empire State of Mind, Concrete Jungle, where dreams are made of. So bring out your best outfits that shine like the New York City skyline. See, See you there. there. Our Neville Tigers had an absolute blowout against the North Cattle Titans, and the final score was 50-24. We're sure our Tigers will outshine the Rustin Bearcats in tonight's game. And we know our student section is showing their Tiger spirit. Good luck to our team. <laughs> Well, here I am again, Tigers. We want to talk about Rustin. We've been playing Rustin ever since 1931, before I was born, before you were born, before your mother was born. It is one of our biggest rivals that we have in football here at Neville High School. We have not beat Rustin since 19, I'm sorry, 2016. It's time for us to whoop that Rustin tail tonight. And we need to whip them and need to whip them real bad because they are all, all fired up. I rode over last night and they got signs all over the highway, all on the campus, how bad they're going to be. Never high school. I know it's a football game, but we need to win it because we need to get respect. 
and we need to get respect from Russian high school so they know that we are still never high school and we're still number one. That's it for tonight's show. This has been Tiger Beat, sponsored by the Number Four C Speech Squad. All right, what a, another great job done by the Neville Varsity Speech and Communications and Drama Department at Neville High School. We're still here at halftime, about eight minutes left. We're going to take a quick two-minute break. We're going to get some, some stats and scores when we come back. We'll be right back. You're watching the Halftime Show presented by Go Family Health. We'll be right back. Call David's Mobile Detail and Power Wash for all your detailing and power washing needs and soft washing capabilities, too. They detail cars, trucks, ATVs, UTVs, boats, and even planes. They offer commercial and residential hot water power washing on nearly all surfaces, including concrete, wood, and stucco. Give them a call, 547-3233, or visit them online at davidsmobiledetail.com. Or stop by 2501 Washington Street in Monroe. David's Mobile Detail and Wash, proud supporter of of Neville Tiger football. Do you suffer from frequent back or neck pain? Were you in an accident and can't get rid of those constant aches? Maybe you're someone who deals with chronic migraines and tension headaches. It might be time to see how Martinez Chiropractic can help you. The goal of Martinez Chiropractic is to reduce or eliminate pain in just a few sessions using the latest in chiropractic technology. Don't suffer in pain another day. Call Martinez Chiropractic today at 318-654-4310 or see him in person 1828 Tower Drive in Monroe. Whether you're dining in or grabbing to go, at Nukes, we love to share great food, to delight with new flavors, to celebrate every bite. Join us at Nukes Eatery. Sleepy Hollow Furniture and the Falk family proudly support our Neville Tigers. Just like the wide variety of athletics and academics Neville excels in, Sleepy Hollow offers your premium mattresses and adjustable bases. Every kind of home furniture and just in time for your favorite season, quality in-stock patio furniture ready for the big game. Come shop your Neville Tiger family at Sleepy We welcome you back here to the Go Family Halftime Show here at Hoss Garrett Field in Ruston, Louisiana as the Tigers trail the Ruston Bearcats here 14 to seven. That's real quick from the halftime as we look in. Tigers with 124 total yards of offense, 69 on the ground. Jalen Nichols leads the Tigers on rushing at 63 yards. 55 yards through the air for the Tigers. Tigers have zero turnovers, three first downs, with a time of possession of eight minutes and 46 seconds. For the Rustin Bearcats, they have 146 total yards, 56 on the ground, 90 passing. They also have no turnovers. They do have 10 first downs, and they've held the ball tonight for 14 minutes and 31 seconds. So let's go over the scoring summary for tonight, the Neville Tigers, they answered in the first quarter, started the scoring in the first quarter on a Jalen Nichols run for 31 yards for the Tigers to get up 7-0. Chandler Pettis' extra point was good. Rustin would come back in the second quarter with eight minutes and 20 seconds left. Dyson Fields runs the ball for two yards and the Tigers and Bearcats were all knotted up at seven. Then Rustin scored right before the half with 43 seconds left. Jade Osborne's pass was complete to Aaron Jackson for 12 yards and then 
Rustin took a 14 to seven halftime lead. Rustin 33 plays to Neville's 21 so far tonight. As I look over, Brooks Angelone three for six today for 55 yards. Jaden Osborne five for 11, 90 yards and one touchdown. Osborne also has five yards on the ground. Brooks Angelone three yards on two rushes. The leading receiver for the Tigers right now is Jalen Nichols. He has two receptions for 52 yards. For Rustin, Logan Malone, two receptions for 56 yards. And Aaron Jackson, one, three receptions for 34. But, of course, the big touchdown right before the halftime. As we look into some scores from around the area, let's check out last night. Washita Christian fell to Washita Parish 48-28 to out on Millhaven. North Caddo and West Washita all knotted up at 14. Union Parish leads Franklin Parish right now 29 to six. No, haven't gotten an update on Ravel and General Trask. Carroll up on Bastrop 35 to nothing. Sterlington leads Richwood seven to six. Check out the class 2A scores. The Mangum Dragons up 26 to 14 over the Oak Grove Tigers. Cedar Creek leading Tinsaw 35 to nothing. Sicily Island down on St. Fred's 27 nothing. It's halftime over there for homecoming for the Warriors. And Darbone Woods, their homecoming night, they're up on River Oaks 21 to 6. And I am Mitch Sorenstein, the voice of the Bearcat Band. Good night. And also, right here at Halls Garrett Stadium, the score is. Rustin 14, Neville 7. Community safer. We hold violators accountable. When Neville Nation craves delicious fast food, there's only one place that comes to mind. Sonic Drive-In on North 18th. Whether it's a breakfast toaster on your way to work or school, one of the many lunch combos, a mid-afternoon Route 44 cold drink, a pre-game popcorn chicken, or a post-game Sonic Blast, the Sonic on North 18th Street has you covered. So drive through, or park and wait for a friendly car hop today to find out why our Sonic is the Sonic on North 18th Street in Monroe. It's definitely Tiger approved. Call David's Mobile Detail and Power Wash for all your detailing and power washing needs and soft washing capabilities too. They detail cars, trucks, ATVs, UTVs, boats, and even planes. They offer commercial and residential hot water power washing on nearly all surfaces including concrete, wood, and stucco. Give them a call 547-3233 or visit them online at davidsmobiledetail.com or stop by 2501 Washington Street in Monroe. David's Mobile Detail and Wash, proud supporter of Neville Tiger football. What? Call David. Whether you're dining in or grabbing to go. At Nukes, we love to share great food, to delight with new flavors, to celebrate every bite. Join us at Nukes Eatery. I'm Dr. Scott Shelby with Family Solutions. When you hear the words Family Solutions, you may not know that we're a comprehensive, strength-based counseling and psychiatric clinic. Family Solutions provides psychiatric care, individual and couples therapy, child and adolescent counseling, psychological testing, medication management. We also provide occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech therapy, and ABA therapy in one convenient location. For more information on how we can help your family today, visit FamilySolutionsCounseling.org. Welcome back, everybody, into the Family Solutions broadcast booth. Hope you enjoyed the Go Family Health halftime report. Will Anders <coughs> inching his way in into our broadcast. I don't know if he's fighting and clawing to get more airtime, but I do have the biggest name on the scoreboard. Let's <laughs> you, not you do, you do, you do. Hey, great job, Will, getting us the scores and the stats, as well as uh, thankful to the speech and drama department for each and every week producing that Tiger beat segment. Stuart Shelby, Robert Lane rejoining you and Jason Ewing is, is running around there somewhere but Robert as we come back to the field you were talking uh, or we were talking at halftime and maybe a kind of surprised you know Rustin is has been a per, I mean a per, one of the premier teams here yeah. in, fi, in the 5A class. They were really high expectations for this club and to be only down seven after the mis we were talking about the unfortunate calls yeah. uh, that have gone against the Tigers, 
you got to be pleased with their performance in the first half. Yeah, no doubt about it. Very proud of the Tigers' effort out here uh, against this Rustin Bearcat team on the road. Uh, we're going to have to f- overcome some things here in the second half. Offensively, I, I, we may need to get Brooks Anzalone involved in the running game Yeah, try to loosen up these defensive ends. Yeah, uh, They've made some adjustments. Kyle Williams is the, the defensive coordinator yeah. over there. He had a pretty good NFL career. He's not bad. Yeah, he knows what's going on. He's got <laughs> these guys coached up. Uh, so it's going to be a cat and mouse game here. Uh, in the second half, so we'll see what happens. It's going to be an exciting second half. The Tigers will receive the second half kickoff, and I'd like to see that momentum kind of start there yeah, yeah. and and tie this, get this ball game tied or closer at at least. So uh, the second half sponsor is our good friend Kevin Williams at Williams Orthodontics. He's got two locations, one on Lemmy Lane in Monroe, also another location in El Dorado if you're listening or watching us up there in Arkansas. But uh, let Kevin and his staff take care of you from whether it's uh, braces for your kids, you want to straighten up your smile, maybe a little bit brighten your smile. Yeah. Dr. Williams and his staff at Williams Orthodontics can take care of it for you. So thank you to Williams Orthodontics for a sponsor in our second half this season. All right, that's Caleb Vaughn deep. We've seen the Bearcats kick it twice, Robert, and they don't kick it deep. They kick a little pooch kick. Uh, Wade has gotten one, and then uh, Corey Hughes has returned one. You see both Wade and Hughes as well as Jaden Gibson as kind of the three up men. Uh, actually, Hughes is one of the deeper ones. and Is that 32? that that's, uh, that's Jakeem. That's a freshman over on the right side. But Caleb Vaughn, the sophomore, is back deep. This is R.J. Brown set to kick it away for the Bearcats. And we are underway here in the second half. This one will be taken by Wade. Try to return left. He's not going to have much room as he's driven down, or not really taken down, but driven backwards. D'Angelo Woods on the return. That's going to be around the – uh, let's see, the 40, I don't know, Jason, the 40, the 40 yard line, <laughs> Jason. <laughs> We're blocked by the huddle. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so uh, Jason, uh, as we were talking at, at halftime just about some of those calls that went against the Tigers and gotten a, a couple of people hot under the collar. Yeah, uh, Mickey says there's three plays he can't wait to go back and watch on the network. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tigers come out. Two wides to the far side. That's Gibson and Vaughn handling to the near side. Anzalone's going to turn and hand it to Jalen Nichols. He's got a little running room, but he's met after a gain of about two. And made three. Let's make it three. Second down and seven upcoming for the Tigers. Yeah, Bearcats did a good job of corralling Nichols there for a short gain. Looks like we're going to line up in the same formation with two out, split out to the field and Nichols in the backfield with Anzalone. Nick, uh, Anzalone calls for the snap. He's going to keep it himself just kind of like you thought might happen. And Anzalone fighting for yards. They're going to. Probably gain about three. This should set up third down. And looks like maybe two. It might have been four they gave him. Ball's going to be placed at the Neville 48-yard line. they got to get to the 50. So third down and two here for Neville to open this second half. 10.52 to go. Neville trails Rustin 14-7. And off to Nichols. He's broken free. He's in the backfield, and he's going to have the first down. He had one man to beat, but Kendrick Jones, one of the DBs for Rustin, was able to wrestle him down, but he crosses the 50, gets it out to the Rustin 41, and the Tigers have a fresh set of downs, compliments of Sonic on North 18th Street. Yeah, and and we've seen Nichols get so much better uh, from week to week. You know, from the first game against Evangel to, to now, he you really seen him you know, mature and grow as a player, and uh, he's going to be a fun one to watch. He's only a sophomore. Only a sophomore. He's getting better every week. Okay, here comes Shelby in motion to the left side of the line. Anzalone's looking to throw. He's going to go deep. He's got Hanlon. He was being held, but Hanlon comes up and makes the catch. There's a flag on the play. There came out at the end, but Hanlon fought 
fought him off and a nice throw, nice catch to Hanlon. And that Tigers are in business deep in Ruston territory. Yeah, you can see on the replay, you can watch uh, Hanlon use his body. Uh, he's a big kid, and he goes up and high points the football here, goes up and catches it at his highest point. Great play there by Hanlon, great catch, great throw by Anzalone. Going to be around the six. The Tigers go quick. They hand it off to Nichols. It looked like Vaughn. Uh, no, that's yeah, Nichols. Nichols. That's going to be a, a gain of a couple. We're down on the other end of the <laughs> field here, other end of the field. Second down. And, you know, that throw and catch reminded me of one of uh, a former Rustin quarterback that's watching the game at Potluck Hunting Club. That's Ben also over yeah. there. <laughs> over there. So, uh, give a shout-out to him and new baby boy. Hope everybody's doing well. Okay. Anzalone calling for the ball. Going to throw the fade to Gibson. He goes up with it, and he makes the catch. Touchdown, Tigers. Nice job from Gibson. High point in the football yep. in the corner of the end zone. Nice throw from Anzalone, and the Tigers are an extra point away from tying this ball game. Very, very well executed drive there. Two great catches by two big receivers here for the Tigers. Uh, you can't ask for anything better uh, if you're a Neville fan coming out of the locker room and putting seven uh, to tie this ball game. Up. Well, hopefully tie this ball game up after the PT, uh, PAT. All right, Tigers touchdowns all year long, sponsored by our good friends at Fleet Feet there on North on Forsyth and Monroe. Both me and you got our hokas on yeah, that, man. that uh, we got in the earlier this season. And man, uh, go by and see them; they can take care of you. Okay, there's a snap, but one of our guys jumped. Look like Lance Hurd moving is going to back this up five yards. You don't like to see that on an extra point. No, and, and with the get off that they got on the last field goal that they blocked, yeah, you know, Hurd just got to hold his water there. Um, yeah, that, we, we got to we got to try to block these guys and put this through the the uprights here to tie this ball game right, up. Nine twenty to go here in the third quarter. Here's the extra point attempt. It's up. And it's good. 14-14 is your score. We're going to take a 30-second break. We'll be back with more Tiger football after these messages. Do you suffer from frequent back or neck pain? Were you in an accident and can't get rid of those constant aches? Maybe you're someone who deals with chronic migraines and tension headaches. It might be time to see how Martinez Chiropractic can help you. The goal of Martinez Chiropractic is to reduce or eliminate pain in just a few sessions using the latest in chiropractic technology. Don't suffer in pain another day. Call Martinez Chiropractic today at 318-654-4310 or see him in person 1828 Tower Drive in Monroe. There you see Chandler Pettis. Five-yard penalty didn't phase him as he puts it through to tie this ball game up. Jason Ewing? Yeah, Tigers that, need a drive to start yeah, the half. Yeah, and they got one. And that's the good thing about Pettis, man. He's He is pretty rock solid from about 25, 30 in. This kick goes deep towards the end zone. It's going to get out of bounds at around the five, though. And the Tigers, or actually the Bearcats, will take it at their own 35. But, you, Robert, you got to like what, what you saw out of the Tiger offense coming yeah, out of the break. Yeah, yeah great execution, some great throws by – Hands along, we went play action and, and hit Hanlon, and that was the big play to set up the the, the, the score there, uh, throwing the fade in the end zone to Gibson uh, to tie this ball game up. So Neville defense has got to keep doing what they've been doing, stop this running game. We cannot give up a big play in the running game and get this offense going. Um, you know, got, we, we had some long plays there before halftime, long drives. Neville yeah. defense was stuck out on the field, so hopefully they got uh, Got hydrated. a little rest and yeah. some hydration. All right, there's – Osborne under center, high formation, handoff to Fields. He runs into his blocker, and the Tigers have him. He's going to lose a couple on this show, on that play. Uh, we got a flag That's, coming in late. Uh, looks like it, the receiver and DB yeah, out here yeah, got tied up. Let's see who if we can find the. There's the official. It, it should be on Rustin on number one. On Aaron Jackson. Well, there's probably some jawing. Aaron yeah. played for Neville last year going on between these two guys. Aaron's pleading his case with the officials. Let's see what it comes out. If, if this goes against Rustin, that'll be the first one to go against Rustin. That might be their first. Yeah, it's going against Neville. All right, that's that's not a yeah. good call. They, they, no, they saw they, the they did, they did against, and then they're, it's, they're offsetting, offsetting it. Okay. They're offsetting it. Even being that Cam didn't do much. 
Yeah. All right, so it's still second down, loss of a, a, at least a yard on that play. Uh, I don't know if they gave him that loss because he hit the fullback and went yeah. backwards. Yeah. Fullback wasn't at the line of scrimmage. But <coughs> either way, it should be – yeah, it is. It second down the, and 11. Yeah, after the play. Second down and 11. Rustin splits three wide to the far side, one to the near side. Osborne looking to throw. He's got the little hitch route. It's complete. That's 87 on the catch. Zai Scott, the tight end. They just released him out there. Nice gain on second down. It should be third down and about three. Yeah, Jason saying third and four. Okay, Jason says four. We're going to yeah, go with we'll him. Go with Jason. He's close. He's got a better view than we do. All right. Bearcats running quick. Osborne's going to keep it himself. He's trying to find some room around the right side. The Tigers corral him. I can't tell if he's got the first down or not because it's so far down there. <laughs> we will see. Looks it looks like it's, like it's going to be fourth down. The officials are holding up their fist, and it might be decision time. It's on the Rustin side of the 50 at around the 45-yard line. Fourth and one. Yeah, it looks like they're bringing in the, the big guys. Uh, yeah, they're I think bringing that's it. 91 coming into the game, or 93. Um, the big defensive end for Rustin, uh, Ahmad Bro. Yeah, put him in the back. Tiger field. fans are coming to their feet on the, their side, and the Rustin fans as well. Handoff is to Fields. He's going to have the first down. They just had a, a couple more hats than we did yeah. on the line of scrimmage, and Fields found the hole. He's going to fall forward to about the 47-yard line. And, the, tie, and the, the Bearcats will have first down and 10. Yeah, it looks like they still got their heavy package in. Uh, got Amon Bro playing an H-back position. Uh, yeah. Lined up here on, on the wing. Yeah, big tight ends there. Single wide receiver to the near side. They're going to hand it. No, they're not. Osborne pulls it out of the belly of his fullback, and Rudy Dozier and, and Henry Cagle yeah. were all over it. Yeah, good play there by the Neville Second defense. Uh, kind of hard to tell from my angle what happened. Uh, we're having to look through the Neville defense into the offense. <laughs> I'm watching it on the TV yeah, screen. Yeah, that's what I'm going to have to start doing. <laughs> Here's on the yeah, replay. They just ran the veer, and, and yeah, the that quarterback was Henry. pulled it. Yeah. That was Henry all the way. Uh, I didn't want to take that away. Rudy has been involved in a lot of yeah. plays, and so has Henry. They both had some – Outstanding nights here tonight. Osborne looking to pass. Gets the complete to Jackson and around the 50-yard line. He's brought down immediately by, I believe that was Robert Graves. And that's going to be a short gain of about two, third down and eight for the Bearcats. Yeah, they just went straight drop back there and threw the little – uh, underneath underneath slant right, route and uh, yeah, made it third long. <laughs> Osborne in the shotgun. Nichols beside him, and they go for the hard count, and we jump. And that's Makes what third and eight, third and three. Yeah. And Bring it out. Go to the 45. Yeah, yeah bro. You, you can't give teams like Rustin uh, cheap yardage like yeah. that. Um, you got to know on third down yeah, that's got to that's going to be coming. You're playing hard. You're playing good defense, and and uh, you give them a uh, instead of third and long. Now you're third and short. So yeah. somebody's going to have to step up here and make the play. All right, third down and three now. Balls almost to the Neville 45 yard line. Osborne looks to throw. Quick out. Almost intercepted. It's incomplete. He was looking for Preston Gray, and Osborne you saw has. the DB. For Neville, break on that football. I don't know if we have it on the replay. Here it is. Let's see who that was. He breaks on it. Yeah, that was Graves yep. that jumped the route. Yeah, underneath cover guy did a good job reading the quarterback's eyes and getting there, getting a hand on the football uh, to create a, a fourth and long. Looks like they're going to punt. Yeah, Will Findlay back in to punt this football for the Bearcats. Fourth and three. Tigers send Breland Robinson to stand right around his 10-yard line. There, the snap is back. This kick is a, another bad one as it's going to bounce at the 25 and take a Neville bounce back to around the 30-yard line. Let's see where they'll spot it. it looks like it's going to be the 34, 35-yard line. 
Devil Tigers take over first and ten. It's going to be on the 35-yard line. Yeah, and that's a fortunate break there for yeah. the Tigers because Rustin had a very good opportunity to, to back Neville up right there with yeah. a good kick uh, and going to make it tough on this offense. And, uh, All right. Approaching the third quarter hydration timeout. Anzalone moves Campbell to the right side. He's going to turn, pitch it out to Jalen Nichols. Nothing there. At Rustin Pursuit. That's the first time yeah. we've really tried to go wide. Yeah, yeah. And it didn't work too No, well. their defensive ends do a great job. And uh, we're at the hydration point here in the football game here in the third quarter with yep. six minutes left. All right. Hydration timeout. Tie ball game again, 14-14. We'll be back after this 30-second break with more Tiger football right here on Sunny 98.3 and the Neville Tiger Network. Hey, Neville Tiger Nation. This season, if you find yourself feeling a little under the weather, visit Go Family Health on North 18th Street. They cover flu shots, sports physicals, sick visits, annual visits, or if nothing is wrong, they can do your regular checkup. Go Family Health has a happy staff, clean office, and they can take care of all your family's health care needs. This is Tiffany Tara with Go Family Health. We love our Neville Tigers, and we want to thank all of Neville Nation for always supporting Go Family Health. Hi, right, welcome back, everybody, into the Family Solutions broadcast booth. Second and 10 is what the Tigers are facing here. Ball is at their own 35 yard line. Anzalone calls for the snap. He puts Gibson in motion. He's going to hand it. To Jalen Nichols, he's going to get a yard maybe, and that's it. Uh, he talked about those ends. That was number six, Christian Davis, and 93 again. Yeah, they've got some meat up front there on, on that defensive line. Number six is a, a, a big def, uh, defensive tackle, and yeah. then their two ends play really, really hard, and they're, they're big kids as well. Third down and nine here for the Tigers. 5.30 and counting here in the third quarter. Anzalone's gonna bring Vaughn across the formation. Drops back, looks to pass, they set up the screen. It's picked up nicely by number six. I thought that, I thought that Nichols was gonna be able to break out of it, but, but Christian Davis didn't let go of his jersey. Yeah, that's the screen that Neville ran there in the first half and had a big play on. And Davis, uh, Davis had it sniffed out. Yep, yep. See this on the replay here. Throw was a little bit high, but. Yeah, the defensive lineman stayed at home. He yeah. felt the, the screen and uh, made a good play. There's a snap back to Pettis. Decent punt. Jackson's going to let it bounce. And it's going to still take a Neville roll. It's still rolling. They're going to down it at the 27-yard line of Rustin. So a better punt there from Pettis yeah. to flip the field on the Bearcats. Yeah, good job by Pettis. And, again, Neville defense got to come up. Uh, got a tie ball game here. It would be nice to try to create a turnover. Yeah. Uh, you know, defense, it's it's about time for them to, to create one, you know, put a, put a helmet on a hat uh, or, or, you know, pick, yeah. pick off one of these balls and, and start with a short field. That's yeah. what we're going to have to do to – to try to win this game. No, no mistakes by either side of the football is what's going to have to happen. All right. The Tiger defense waiting for the Bearcat offense to get back on the field. Hadn't started the play clock just yet. And here they come. All right. Now they bring in six in at tight end. That's Davis. Looks like the Bearcats are going to choose to go heavy here. A nice job there by Fobbs White, <laughs> who just blew that play up. <laughs> that was, that was the, the Fields. Yeah, I believe they handed the dive, didn't they? And Fobbs White. Uh, it's hard. I can't. I couldn't see yeah, on the TV or anything. Let's see here. Yeah. Yeah. Handed they handed the it straight to to Ellis. And. Uh, Fobbs was there. Should be second down and 10. Play action. Osborne looking for a man. He's got Jackson around the 30. He's going to score. He gets behind the, the defense. That was Cam Riley on the coverage. 
And uh, Aaron Jackson's going to take it the distance. A big play from Rustin, and they retake the lead. Yeah, just got out man there. Uh, you know, it went play action. Neville had a guy right there in the quarterback's face. He kind of threw it up. and uh, Yeah, Jackson was behind receiver. everybody. Yeah, Bearcat receiver went up and caught it and took it to the house. Oh, a former Tiger has given the Bearcats a lead. Snap is there. The kick is up, and it's good. 3.54 to go in the third. Rustin takes the, retakes the lead, 21-14 to 14 over your Tigers. We'll be back in 30 seconds right after this. Here at Parker Alexander, we obtain justice for those who've been injured due to the negligence of others. Whether that's in a car accident, a truck accident, wrongful death, we also make our community safer. We hold violators accountable. All right, everybody, welcome back to the Family Solutions broadcast booth. The Bearcats on the back of a, about a 70-yard to touchdown throw and catch from Osborne to Aaron Jackson have retaken the lead. And they're set to kick things off here to the Tigers. And that wasn't the type of – I mean, no. that, uh, just a big play. It's, yeah, it's just been a couple of big plays mm -hmm. that this – you know, Neville defense has given up, and, uh, you know, that, that was one of them there. And a huge play there to put them up 21-14. All right, it's R.J. Brown now kicking off. He's going to kick this one deep. Vaughn's going to have a return. He picks it up around the 12. He's going to run out of bounds at around the 20-yard line. They're going to say the 19. Well, that's where the Tigers will take over as they try to tie this ball game up. Chased out of bounds by number 38, Ashby. Yeah, we'll see what Neville has up their sleeve here. You know, the Bearcats have had, they've done a pretty good job of containing uh, Jaden Nichols here the last drive yeah. or two. And um, I really think that they're going to have – if they're going to stay in this football game, they're going to have to get that short passing game going. Yeah, yeah, no doubt about it. And you got to try to stretch this defense as fast as they are. Uh, you know, it's tough to do, but you got to do it to try to loosen up the run game in the, in the inside and, you know, go and play action. These safeties are walked up. They're, they're sticking their nose into the run game, so a play action deep ball may, may happen. It's time. Quarterback run. No, they're going to throw the swing pass out there. That's Caleb Vaughn, who's got a first down and a couple of more. That first down and brought to you by the Sonic on North 18th Street, and you're pumping your fist over here, Robert, that, as you that, saw him fake the, the option and, and kick it out there, as you see on the replay. That's how you stretch the defense. Uh, it, it lets those defensive ends and linebackers know that we can run outside. Tigers going quick. They hand it to Nichols. He's got a little room in the middle, but not much. Out to the 35-yard line he goes. Gain of about three on first down. It'll be second down and seven. Yeah, and it looks like what they're doing is they're crashing their defensive ends. I'm talking about just crashing them down, you know, straight for the inside run game, and they're bringing the safety up for the quarterback uh, to, to if he where if he pulls it. So uh, that's what their scheme is, and that's why you watch the defensive end here. Anzalone rolls to his right. There's a flag. He tries to get rid of it, and it's caught, almost caught by Thomas Campbell. But that's going to be a hold against Hurd yeah. as he got. Uh, I think that was who was that ninety three going around that side. Yeah, Hurd was blocking on the backside, and he he got his got him on the shoulder. That's going to be a like. deep hold too. Yeah, is that flag yeah. sitting at the 26, 27 yard line? It'll be ten yards from that spot. Yeah, and you hate it because it was away from the ball. You know, Anzalone's he was uh, peeled off to the other yeah, side. He's sprinting the other way, and unfortunate penalty there yep. to bring up. So, uh, what is it, third and way long, second and yeah. way long. Second down, the ball spotted at the 18-yard line. The line to gain, I believe, is the 40. Second and 22 now. Anzalone going to hand it to Nichols. He's got a couple. He crosses the 20 out to about the 22-yard line. It's going to be... 
the 24 is where they mark it. Well, that's going to get a few of the yards back, but still a third and very long here. The Tigers bring four wide receivers into the formation. See if they try to make this up. Third down and about 20. Kari Hughes comes across the formation. Anzalone steps up in the pocket. It's tipped and it's caught by Bradley Hanlon, <laughs> who's at the around the 50-yard line. That's he's close to the first down. I think he's got it. <laughs> a, that is a first down. Jason Ewing signaling it. Watch this on the Parker Alexander replay as Anzalone was looking to the middle of the field and – I think that was Gibson who tipped it up, and Hanlon was right there to pick it up, and he fights his way out to the 47-yard line, and it's first and 10, Tigers. Scott, nice play. I, I watched them practice that play this week. That's exactly <laughs> how they drew it up. They've been yeah. waiting to call it. The old, the old uh, tip drill. Yep. All right. Anzalone looking to throw. He's going to be sacked. The ball comes out, and Rustin has it. Didn't feel the pressure. He was trying to get rid of it and, didn't, and wasn't decisive. Yeah. Ball comes out, and Rustin's going to take over, and that's the first turnover of the football game. Yeah, and that's, that's the M.O. of this Rustin defense. They, they rely on this defense to make plays for him, and, and that was a big play his, there. His hand was moving forward, but – It's interception. It, it would have been an interception yeah. because yeah. it never hit the ground. Right. So – Either way, it's Rustin's ball, and they've got it on the Neville 43-yard line. That's just unfortunate. Yeah, a big play big like play. that, and then a, a yeah. big play for the defense. And But you're right. That's how Rustin's yeah. lived and died on yeah. that type of play. They, the, the games they've won, they've been very close games, and mm -hmm. uh, they play right down to the end. And, and generally, they, they win the second half with their defense. Well, now it's time for the Tiger defense to hopefully make a play of its own. Osborne under center. Flag on the play. Before the snap, this has got to be procedure against the Bearcats. Yeah, they're lining up in the neutral zone. And that's going to back them up five. So that's going to come back to the 48-yard line of Neville and be first down and 15. After the flag, it's going to be first and 15 at the 48. <clears throat> yeah, it's time for Neville to show up defensively and get a turnover here. We've got to make a stop. Osborne, play action. Slinging it down the field again, looking for for Jackson. Tried to come back. Osborne Flag on the play. It's going to be rough in the passer. Might be rough in the passer as Osborne was down at the end of that play. Didn't see the end of it as I was watching the pass go down. I don't know if Jason saw anything. All right, anyway, that's going to go against the Tigers, and that's going to move the chains, a 15-yard Roughing the passer the penalty. penalty. Down. That's That's and now a first down for the Bearcats, and the ball is placed at the 34-yard line, <coughs> or actually 33-yard line. They hand this one off to Fields, still on his feet. Is that Fields? Yeah. He's across Fields the, the 30 out to the... 25. He's going to be about a yard shy of a first down. Second down and one for the Bearcats. Yeah, they're just doing what we expect. They're in the eye, you know, handing it to Fields. Um. All right. Play action. Osborne rolls out to his left. He's got running room. He can get the first down if he wants it. He's forced out of bounds by D'Angelo Woods. Well, maybe he can get the – first down. I don't know. He's forced out of bounds behind the 25. He's actually going to lose a couple. So, <coughs> man, it, it's so hard to see. I know. Over here. I know. All right, second, third down now, and a long three for the Bearcats. So, he loses a couple there. Tiger defense making a, trying to make a stand here. Yep. 
Big play here. Third and three from the Neville. 33, they're going to hand this off to Fields. He stood up at the line. They're trying to push him forward. Nowhere to go. He's back to the 25-yard line. That's going to be about a yard and a half shy of the first down. And it's going to be fourth down for the Bearcats. And we're at 24 seconds remaining here in the third quarter. And it looks like the Bearcats, the coaching staff, and everybody's walking towards the the other end of the field, and that's going to be the last play of the third quarter. Rustin leads Neville 21-14. to We're going to take a 30-second break. We'll be back on the other side with more Neville Tiger football. When Neville Nation craves delicious fast food, there's only one place that comes to mind, Sonic Drive-In on North 18th. Whether it's a breakfast toaster on your way to work or school, one of the many lunch combos, a mid-afternoon Route 44 cold drink, a pre-game popcorn chicken, or a post-game Sonic Blast, the Sonic on North 18th Street has you covered. So drive through or park and wait for a friendly car hop today to find out why our Sonic is the Sonic on North 18th Street in Monroe. It's definitely Tiger approved. Welcome back and a nice shot there by our good friend Sean Hollister of the Tiger Huddle as the Bearcats have a fourth down and about one and a half, we can call it two, deep in Neville territory. We, we, def and <coughs> we definitely have to get a stop here. Yeah, this would be a big stop. Yeah. It looks like they're going for it. They're not, yeah. They didn't bring out a kicker. They're coming straight out. They put the big boys in oh, at tight end. Osborne under center. He looks to throw, and it's going to be incomplete. Tried to peel off the tight end right there, and a Tiger was in Osborne's face, forced him to throw that ball a little early, and it's incomplete, and the Tigers have hold. Yeah, good job. Held. Good job. I think, believe it was Breland Robinson out there on the outside, walked up, and he did a good job of being disciplined and, and playing his assignment, which is keep contained. They went play action, quarterback sprinted out, and he was right there in his face and forced him to throw it away there on fourth down, and – uh, huge stop there by the Tigers. Get this ball back in the offense's hands with 11.54 to go. You know, Jay Trailer's been Johnny on the spot with for us all year with these uh, – with the stats and everything. It's pretty close. Total offense, Neville 224 to Rustin's 241. Yeah, so, I mean, it's been a pretty balanced deal. And it, the, the score kind of uh, shows that. 21, Rustin. Neville has 14. There's a handoff to Nichols. He's trying to run wide. He's got a little room on the left side. Over there, it's going to be a nice gain on first down of about, it looks like, about nine on first down. Second down and a yard here for the Tigers. Ball is about the 33-yard line of Neville. Anzalone looks to pass. He's going to look deep. He's got Gibson. It's hanging up there. And... It's going to be incomplete, broken up, as Gibson kind of waited on it. It hung yeah. up in the air a while. Gibson might have Jordan. had another Jordan. shot if he'd have gone up with his hands, but he tried to catch it in the in his bread basket there. Yeah, Rustin looked like they were playing cover two, and Anzalone just hung that ball up just a yeah. little too long. you got to throw a hole throw there uh, and stick it in there between the corner and the safety. Well, on, third and on second and short, they take a shot. Yeah. Third and short, they're going to bring in – a couple of tight ends and see if they can't get this yard and extend this drive. Anzalone brings Gibson in motion. They're going to hand it to Nichols, and I don't know if yeah, he's got it. he got it. We'll see. It's pretty close. We're going to say it's fourth down. And the Tigers bring their punt team out. Yeah, as good as your defense is playing, you gotta yeah, it's, you gotta try it's to still flip early the field. in, in yeah, the fourth. That's right. Flip the field and and get another stop and hopefully get the ball back there around midfield. Nice job by the Rustin defense of standing yeah. up right there on third and short. I mean, it was it was less than a yard. Pettis is back there to punt this football away. Gets it away, a decent punt. Aaron Jackson fair catches it at around the Jackson thirty-eight yard line. And that's where Russell will take over, and the Neville Ladies defense going to have to stand up again. Yep. Um, they've held strong tonight, giving up a couple of big plays, and 
I believe Neville tonight, yeah. offensively and defensively, has Four. about Six. I think seven penalties for about 65 Nine. yards. Yeah, uh, and and I, I don't know what Rustin's had, but I don't Six. think that they've had that many. Well, I, I can tell you here, penalties. Rustin's had two for five. There you I was going to say two. Yeah, they yeah. hadn't had many. No, and, on all sides, and uh, that's about all. Yeah. I can well, they got it. They had the uh, offsetting, offsetting, yeah. offsetting uh, personal that's right. foul. But that's kind of been the difference, and and that's the difference between discipline and, and not so far. All right, Osborne once again under center here. He's going to turn, hand it to Fields. Fields fighting for yardage. He's got a good push and a big push from that. Rustin offensive line, it's going to push him about 10 extra yards yeah. on that carry. It's going to be a first down for the Bearcats as he's close to midfield. Yeah, good run there. We had him in the backfield. It looked like a right at the line of scrimmage there. And uh, one of our defensive linemen, he just kind of uh, yeah. got out of, out of his hands and was able to get in behind that Rustin Bearcat offensive line. All right, they actually crossed the 50, and it's on the Neville 49-yard line. And off again to Fields. Trying the middle of that defense. He's going to get a couple. Call it about three. It's going to be second down and seven for the Bearcats. As the Bearcats with a seven-point lead. It almost, let's get back to what they do and yep. try to dominate the line of scrimmage here and uh, work on this clock a little bit. Yeah. As... The quarterback for Rustin looks over to the sideline for the play call. He's going to hand it to Ellis. Ellis is going to have a couple, actually, and, and breaks for a little bit more. I thought he was stopped after about a couple. That's going to be a first down there, though, for Rustin on the second effort. Yeah, he got in there behind the, the big red jerseys of, of uh, Rustin's offensive line and, and kind of was able to spin out and, and get the first down. It looked like Neville had him bottled up there for a second, but – he did a good job of keeping his legs going. All right, first. first and ten for the Bearcats. The ball is at the 36-yard line of Neville. Osborne turns, hands it to Ellis again. He's going to have another nice gain as he gets it out to the 30-yard line. Gain of six on the play. It's going to be second down and four for the Bearcats. And, and Robert, we might be seeing this Tiger defense has been out. Its yeah. offense hadn't yeah. helped him out. A lot no. uh, here this evening. Well, and, and another <laughs> run play there by the the Bearcats. Going to be close to a first down. Fields on the carry, tackled by Murnau. And it is going to be a first down for the Bearcats. Yeah, and that's what offensively that's their scheme. They want to be able to run the football, you know, get three, four yards of carry, uh, mm -hmm. and milk the clock and and score points. And uh, you know, right now they're having some success uh, doing that on this drive. And this Neville defense has got to be getting a little winded. Yeah. All right. Hard count again. Tigers hold up at the line of scrimmage. That's time they give it to Fields. He bounces off a blocker. He's going to be across the, the 25 down to the 24. Short gain of about two. Second down and eight for Rustin. 8.07 to go in this football game. Rustin. Leads Neville 21 to 14, and they are driving. Tiger defense needing to stop. Try to keep this a one score game if possible. Osborne, they're, they're milking every second of this clock out. As they've slowed the pace of this, of their play calling down a considerable amount. Give it again to Fields. He's quick in between in tight spaces. He's going to be out to around the 20-yard line. It's going to be third down and maybe three. Third down and three. Yep. Jason. Field. Let's see how he can see down that line. Like that. <laughs> He's guessing. <laughs> All right, third down and three for the Tigers. I ran for the Bearcats. Strike three, Will. Strike three. <laughs> yeah, I know. Take over. They hand to the fullback. He's going to have the first down. And it's just old-fashioned uh, yeah. rusting football right here. 
Uh, they, they put the big guys in, and they said, we're going to run the football. And yeah, Ball's on the 15-yard line, and, and, you know, even with this, <coughs> you don't get a stop down there in this clock. I mean, we're under seven minutes now. I mean, yeah. uh, Bearcats have had this for a, a, a decent amount of time here, over two minutes yeah. on, on this drive alone. All right. And they're not snapping it until it's almost at least around, you know, 12 or 13 seconds on the play clock. They hand it to Fields. He's once again runs into the back of one of his blockers, and the Tigers were there to get him. That's Fobbs, White, and Breland Robinson on the stop for Neville. And there's a, a, a Bearcat down. It looks like Fields may be down. I don't know who that is down. Maybe Jason can get a better look at it. Is it Fields? And Fields is down right there. Okay, well, that's reached <coughs> the 6.05 mark, and that's probably going to be the hydration timeout. So we're going to take one, too. A 30-second break. We'll <coughs> tell you all about it when we return. Sleepy Hollow Furniture and the Falk family proudly support our Neville Tigers. Just like the wide variety of athletics and academics Neville excels in, Sleepy Hollow offers your premium mattresses and adjustable bases. Every kind of home furniture and just in time for your favorite season, quality in-stock patio furniture ready for the big game. Come shop your Neville Tiger family at Sleepy Hollow Furniture. All right, everybody, welcome back into the Family Solutions broadcast booth. And if you can see it behind us, it's still in a hydration timeout. Rustin leads Neville 21 to 14. And, Robert, we were talking over the break. You know, this is – Neville's played well yeah. here tonight. Yeah. They played well. Uh, Rustin is doing what Rustin does right now and trying to control the clock, control uh, the line of scrimmage. But – Tigers still in, in striking distance. Yeah, no doubt about it. And I, you and I both are – we're not shocked, but a little bit surprised of the way that Neville has been able to compete out here against this Ruston football team. They're, they're a good football team. And we'll see how this goes. But uh, Neville's got a slew of sophomores out here, so yeah. it's, a, it's a bright future for the Tigers. New tailback in the game as Fields has come out. That's Jordan Hayes. Osborne's going to try a pass. He's got Aaron Jackson in the end zone for a touchdown. And we, there it is. Uh, trust me. As he just got wide, and that's the a nice throw again by Osborne to the to the boundary, and yeah, we, we just haven't been able to defend that one. No, we're just out. I mean, we, we got sophomores playing quarterback, and nothing. Corner, they, yeah, yeah, corner, and and they're good players, but they hadn't been in this type of game and experience. Uh, Jackson is a is a physical guy. Yeah, um, not as good as the guy we saw last week, but. Yeah, uh, a good I, receiver yeah. and created some separation. Yep. Either way, the Bearcats have tacked on six more, extended their lead to 27 to 14 as we await Will Finley's extra point attempt. Unsportsmanlike against the Bearcats. That's going to be. Oh, and he's ejected. I didn't see. Who that ended up being. I don't know what player was ejected. Maybe Jason can find out. All right, they're going to mark that off on the kickoff. Here's the snap. The kick is up, and it's no good. It so was, the extra point is is missed, and Jason, yeah, we'll stay here here on the break. Yeah, it was on the wide receiver that had the offsetting yeah, a minute ago. Yeah, it was. So it was his second. It was his oh. second. Okay. Yep. No, no, it was the other. It was the other one. So, I got you. The second, uh, unsportsmanlike against uh, that young man. So one of the wide receivers. All right, Robert, twenty-seven to fourteen. 5.59 to go here in this football game. What do the Tigers got to do? Yeah, we're going to have to uh, score quick and right here and then score quick and then try to get an onside kick, get the yeah. ball back. And, uh, you know, that extra point right there may come back. If Neville can score, yeah. get the onside kick, you got a chance to win this football game. So uh, it's not over yet. We've seen crazier things happen uh, the last two years uh, in this football game. Last year with A.J. winning on the last play of the yeah. game on a long touchdown. So Yeah, crazier things have happened yeah. here. Uh, the – 
what the offense needs to do is is to have a drive. Now they got to do it with a little quickness here. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but the defense needs a break. They don't yeah. need to be back out there. I mean, uh, you could tell them, see them start to wear down a little bit. That yeah. offensive line for Rustin, a big group of guys, and we're very talented defensive front on our side of the football. But any time you go up against a team like that, that's their game plan. They want to wear you down. Yep. And I keep doing the same thing over and over and over. Well, and, and this is the an old school football team. When you cut them on tape, they're going to play defense, they're going to be disciplined, mm-hmm. and they're going to run the football. And that's what you saw right there here in the second half. Uh, that's what they said. Let's keep playing defense. We're going to run the football. We're going to milk the clock and, and try to go up a couple of scores. And uh, that's what Rustin's been able to do here in the second half. All right. The football is placed at the 25 after that unsportsmanlike penalty. R.J. Brown's going to kick it away for Rustin. We'll see if he tries to kick this one a little deeper than normal. It's Caleb Vaughn back deep to receive for the Tigers. Here's the kick. It's going to be taken in by Kari Hughes. He's got a little running room around the left side, and he's going to be wrestled down at around the 44-yard line. So a nice return from Hughes gives the Tigers decent field position here to start this drive. Yeah, starting with good field position, uh, five minutes, 47 seconds. Uh, again, you got to score quick. That way you can kick an onside kick and have some time on the clock at the end to try to uh, punch it in to win this football game. All right, folks, don't forget that tonight's second half is sponsored by our good friends at Williams Orthodontics over there on Lammy Lane in Monroe. Thanks to Dr. Kevin Williams uh, for his sponsorship of Neville Tiger Athletics. All right, Nichols. He's been the only running back for the Tigers tonight outside of Robinson getting that one carry. Here's Nichols to the right side. He's trying to fight towards the 50. He's going to fall forward. He's going to get the 50 and cross over to the Rustin 49-yard line. That's going to be a gain of about seven on first down. It'll be second down and three. The Tigers really need to start maybe think about going tempo here as uh, they get quick to the line. Bunch formation to the near sideline. Single receiver to the far sideline is Bradley Hanlon. Nichols to the left of Anzalone. Anzalone looking to throw, steps up in the pocket, launches a deep one down the field. He's looking for Gibson. He was well covered, and it falls incomplete. Yeah, tried to take a shot there, and, you know, Rustin's playing soft, uh, especially – to the one receiver side over there, yep. Bradley Hanlon. He had a big cushion. Just step up, throw the hitch. Get the first uh, get down. The, get the first down, get out of bounds, stop the clock. Uh, and, and like you said, maybe start going tempo and, and until they walk up. Uh, you you, yeah. can, you got a chance to, to get some short throws. The clock has stopped on the incompletion. 5.04 to go here in this football game. Anzalone has it. He looks for the out. He goes right through the hands of Gibson. Great pass. Yeah. Came out of his break, and it just got, got on him a little quick. Yeah, it got on him a little quick and went right through his hands. Good throw. Um, you know, a little high, but you would know, like to stick it on him there. Uh, just threw the comeback there on third and uh, about four. And we, yeah. We had the first down. And All right, it's fourth down. Yeah. The Tigers are going for it here. Fourth and uh, a long three here for Neville. And, you know, start going back to these boundaries. I don't <coughs> – the middle of the field, I haven't been watching. I mean, yeah. that's where we've had the success over the past couple of games. Let's see what they do here. Fourth down and three. You There's talked the about it. There's the hitch route to Hanlon. He's got it, and that's going to be a first down for the Tigers as that's going to move the chains. It's a Sonic on North 18th Street first down, and the Tigers with the fresh set. Yeah, and Hanlon's a, a big big target over there, great hands, and a good job of catching that ball and getting doing what he needed to do to get to the sticks. Yeah, he's a guy that's known as yeah. you throw it anywhere near him, he's going to catch the football. All right. Anzalone hands this one off. Does the pump Open fake. Period, Doesn't fake play, too many out as oh, Nichols good. carries it for a couple. Clock's running, 4.30 and counting. Here the Tigers have it in Rustin territory at the Rustin 39-yard line. 
And you got soft coverage to the boundary again over here with Hanlon. Um. Anzalone looks towards the middle. He's got Vaughn. That's going to be a first down as he crosses the 25 down to the 22-yard line. That's going to move the chains for the Tigers, and the Tigers hurry into the line right here. Really good job by Anzalone stepping up in the pocket and hitting the crossing route and putting it where only his receiver could catch it. Now Rustin's going to take a timeout, so we will too. 4.05 to go in this football game. Rustin leads Neville 27-14. to We'll be back in 30 seconds with more Neville Tiger football. Stay tuned. I'm Dr. Scott Shelby with Family Solutions. When you hear the words Family Solutions, you may not know that we're a comprehensive, strength-based counseling and psychiatric clinic. Family Solutions provides psychiatric care, individual and couples therapy, child and adolescent counseling, psychological testing, medication management. We also provide occupational therapy, physical therapy, speech therapy, and ABA therapy in one convenient location. For more information on how we can help your family today, visit FamilySolutionsCounseling.org. As we return to the Family Solutions broadcast booth, Tigers are driving. They trail Rustin by 13 with 4.05 remaining in this football game, but they've got it at the Neville, at the Rustin 22 yard line. That's four strikes. How many? What does that get me? What does that get me? Okay. Anzalone's going to bring Gibson across the formation. He'll be the lone receiver to the far side, Hanlon to the near side. Tigers bring in an extra tight end. He's going for Gibson in the end zone, and it's a little too deep. Almost intercepted there by Jacorian Crow, but he was out of bounds. The Tigers take a shot on first down, come up empty. Yeah, Rustin, again, they're, they're playing soft coverage. They're bailing at the snap. Um, you got to kind of take what the – Take what they're giving what you. what you're giving it. Yeah, what you're giving – We'll see what they call here. You know, you, you want to run the football, but you yeah. want to try to score with some time left on the clock. All right. Anzalone is going to take it himself. He's got a running room. He's out across the 15 to the 14-yard line. That's going to be close to a first down, be third down and about a yard for the Tigers. Big third down. Tigers going quick. They're going to hand it. Off to Jalen Nichols. He breaks a tackle at the five. He's going to fall forward. He's inside the four to the three-yard line. And the Tigers will have first and goal from there. And the Tigers are going to keep that momentum yeah. and go tempo here. Got to go quick right here. Try to score on this play. Anzalone has a snap. Hands it to Nichols. He's going to be in for the score from three yards out. And we've got ourselves a one-score ball game. Touchdowns brought to you by Fleet Feet on Forsyth in Monroe. The Tigers should just go for go for, go ahead and line up for one. There's yeah. no sense in uh, doing the swinging gate. Two points get you nothing. Rudy Dozier in to snap it. It's John Michael Sampanero to hold. Chandler Pettis has the kick up. And it's good. 3.22 to go in the football game. 27 to 21 now. Rustin leads. We'll be back in 30 seconds with hopefully the conclusion to this one. Sleepy Hollow Furniture and the Falk family proudly support our Neville Tigers. Just like the wide variety of athletics and academics Neville excels in, Sleepy Hollow offers your premium mattresses and adjustable bases. Every kind of home furniture and just in time for your favorite season. Quality in stock patio furniture ready for the big game. Come shop your Neville Tiger family at Sleepy Hollow Furniture. Welcome back, everybody. Got ourselves a ball game here in Ruston. It's 27 21. The Tigers out to kick this one off. We'll see what they do. Jason. Tigers needed that drive. They needed that drive. They sure did. You know, and, you know, what do you do here? Onside or kick it deep and uh, roll with the defense? Three twenty-two to go. The defense has been playing good, but right. they they started to show a little signs of fatigue. Yeah. Uh, well, I don't you, know. Let's you, see what they got out there. Yeah, you got to expect Rustin to get in the two tights and two back, and they're going to hand the veer and run the counter and, and try to milk the clock if they get it. Uh, Rustin only happens. has one yeah. guy deep. They're expecting the onside kick. Here's Pettis. 
He's going to kick it deep. It's going to stop around the one. It's going to be picked up at the one. And a nice return. That was one of those returns where you'd like to maybe yeah. get him bottled up inside the 20, but a nice job. I believe that was number nine, Jordan Hayes, gets it out to the 26. So the Tigers decide to kick it deep and rely on that defense that's been playing well all night. Yeah, I like it. You, there's 316 left on the clock. He, I think you got some timeouts. I, Tigers have all three yeah, of their timeouts, three timeouts left. So Rustin has two remaining. You, you get a stop here, and you got field position. Uh, you know, if you onside kick it, and they recover it, and they drive it, and you stop them, you, you don't have field position. So uh, we'll see what happens. All right. They're discussing something over there on that sideline. Was there a flag thrown? I, I have I don't know what's going on here, and they say he stepped yeah, in the he end stepped zone. Stepped in the end zone with the ball. With the ball, but his foot went in the end zone. I don't know if the ball went in the end zone. We'll check it out here on the replay. Are we about to re-kick it? He goes into the end zone, so they're just gonna wait. Now they're stopping the clock again. I don't know what's going on as. Tannehill's Whatever won. that rule is. Coach is Tannehill's want to talk to the white hat. Yeah, he wants to. So, did Neville take a timeout? Let's see. I, I don't know if uh, Neville took a timeout or what. As Coach Tannehill is talking yeah. to the official, and obviously he's a little frustrated as uh, it seems to have been. It, at, by no means are we saying that these officials are no, no, no. one side or the other, but it, it, if you've been watching this, it seems to be definitely going against the Tigers yeah. more than the, the, the Bearcats here tonight. Ah. From the Huntington game. A lot, okay. lot of flags. And I th so uh, we have, I guess, resolved that. I don't know if they charged anybody with the timeout. If they charged anybody, it had to have been Neville. I never saw a signal. Yeah, I, I didn't either. Okay, well, nothing doing. The ball's at the 26-yard line, and Rustin has it now a flag as – as Breland Robinson was was pointing, and it's going to be a false start against the Bearcats. They're going to back them up five, and now we're back at the 20 with first and 15. <laughs> so after all that. Uh, Life has a way of equaling itself <laughs> out, doesn't it? Exactly. <laughs> after the penalty, your Bearcats so, first and 10. It's first and 15. The uh, PA announcer said first and 10. All right, there's a handoff and a nice job by the Tiger defense. And once again, that's Fields back in there. They, the ball comes out, but the, the whistles had blown. Yeah. His forward progress actually had, had been stopped, and Neville calls a timeout uh, here to conserve some clock. So with this one, let's take a timeout as well as well. 3.05 remaining in this football game. Rustin 27, Neville 21. We'll be back in 30 seconds. Stay tuned. It's Mobile Detail and Power Wash for all your detailing and power washing needs and soft washing capabilities too. They detail cars, trucks, ATVs, UTVs, boats, and even planes. They offer commercial and residential hot water power washing on nearly all surfaces including concrete, wood, and stucco. Give them a call 547-3233 or visit them online at davidsmobiledetail.com or stop by 2501 Washington Street in Monroe. David's Mobile Detail and Wash, proud supporter of Never Tiger football. Hey, welcome back to the Family Solutions broadcast booth. And we got ourselves a ball game, Robert. Yeah, it's been a great game. Uh, the, the last well, three years now, yeah. we've seen great football games between two great teams. Um, and it, they hadn't let us down tonight. And, and, you know, right now defensively, we've got to strip the ball. Yeah. That's what you're going to see. You're going to see them stand the running back up, have somebody else come in and strip the ball and, and try to create a turnover. Second and 15. Good to see Dyson Fields back in there. Uh, didn't want that young man, who's a, a heck of a talent, uh, to be uh, out 
for an extended period of time. They hand it to him. He bounces off a couple of tacklers, gets a, a nice gain on second down, and another timeout taken by the Tigers. Coach Collins, a little animated, he was he's getting on his defense for not well, and, wrapping him up and, there. And, and that's and, what I was, I was going to say. The problem with stripping the football yeah. and, and having your focus on that is you end up missing tackles. Uh, so it's a, there's a fine line in there. Uh, you've got to try to stand him up, and somebody has to be dedicated to go in there and try to strip the ball uh, as soon as you stand him up. Obviously, if his forward progress is stopped, yeah. then it's going to be dead. So it's you, th this is something that you have to practice, and well, uh, defenses that are good at it, you see them have success. We're really going to have to watch the snap count here. Yeah, 2.55 to go. It's third and four. It's a, it's a little less than five. It might be a long four, but uh, either way, uh, Jason's right. You know, we've we've already yeah. got called on uh, one hard count here. Tiger defense has to be disciplined. But a stop here on third down, you're going to get a punt from yeah. Rustin no just deep it. in the in their territory. Yeah, this this is the play right here. If you're going to have a chance yeah, to win the Tigers, football game, this Tigers, is it. Tigers, I believe, are out of timeouts yeah. uh, at, the, at the moment. Yep. So – Rustin has two remaining. I don't. They're not really looking to stop the clock. Here's Osborne under center. Going to turn. They're going to pitch it to Fields. And he's going to be brought down in the backfield. They're going to lose a couple. And the Tigers, we actually had one more. They didn't charge a timeout on that one. So the Tigers are going to take their third and final timeout. And it's going to be fourth and about seven. And Fields is down again on the Rustin sideline. So that's... Let's keep it here, and guess, do we have the replay? Let's let's play that replay real fast because I want to see who made that tackle. It was on the other side of the field. They tried to pitch for the first time tonight. It was Rudy Dozier. Rudy Dozier came in and just took the legs out from under Dyson Fields. Him and uh, Fobbs, I think, was on the other side of that one. And yeah, you hope that and Fields just is hope okay. that he's okay yeah, over there. He, he took a real shot there in his left knee. Uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, you could kind of see it on the replay there. Yeah. Um, hopefully he's, he's going to be okay. A big stop by the Tiger defense right there. That had Coach Mike Collins that you see there uh, with a great shot there from Sean Hollister. Uh, he had – that's what he wanted. He was out on the field meeting his guys coming off, and now they're helping Dyson Fields <coughs> off, and he – He's not putting much weight on that left leg. So let's just hope and pray that that young man is going to be uh, okay, that that injury's just hopefully it's not as serious as it looks. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's, a, he's a very good talent and fun to watch him play. He competes hard. And, uh, and so the Tigers are going to – are waiting on a punt – here, which should be coming from Rustin. Fourth down and eight. The ball is sitting at their own 28-yard line. So if they don't punt this one, that's as, that's as <laughs> gutsy of a move yeah. as anything. <laughs> Up six here. But they're going to put R.J. Brown back deep. to punt this away, and that's Bradley Hanlon back there to take this one. It's going to get over his head, and he's going to let it <clears> – <throat> he's going to have to let it bounce. And what a punt yep. by R.J. Brown, and it's finally going to be down at around the 17-yard line as they had uh, Hanlon back there for the hands, and it went five yeah. yards over his head. Yeah, punter made up for the two bad ones he hit well, earlier that, in the that game wasn't there. The, the, uh, RJ, that, that was a different punter. That was a different punter. Okay. That's right. Uh, so. Well, he, he hit that one good, and, and that was a huge play to flip the field. Neville's defense did a great job of, of stopping Rust in there, and a and, uh, big punt uh, puts Neville having to go uh, what about yeah, 80, 83, 83, 83 yards. yards. Yeah, yep. 83 yards so, uh, here. So they got time, 2 minutes, 33 seconds. With Tigers do have some big playability yeah, in yeah. there. But uh, they have no timeouts left. No they time took out. their okay. last timeout right. right there after after that stop. Well, this is the classic two-minute drill. You've got to uh, get up to the ball and get set and get the next play called. All right, Tigers going four wides here. Anzalone, he's going to hand it to Nichols. He's got running room. He's going to make a cut around the 
38-yard line. He's going to be brought down at the 40. That's going to be a first down for the Tigers. That's going to stop the clock momentarily as they move the chains. But a first down nonetheless. That first down brought to you by our good friends on at the Sonic on North 18th Street. Tigers need to move. That clock's running. 2-16 and counting. Plays in. Tigers are set. Now they bring a man in motion. Anzalone has the snap, looking to throw. Flush from the pocket. He's going to throw this one out of bounds. Mm. He had he had Gibson outside, but. Yeah, and Anzalone, he may watch this on tape, and he's going to wish that he ran the football here. Yeah. He's got a lot of green grass to go and try to run to the pylon and get out of bounds. Um. So 153, clock stopped here on the incompletion. It's second down and 10 for the Tigers. They trail by six. In the waning moments of this football game, they try underneath. They've got Vaughn. He's tackled after a gain of about four or five. Tigers got to get to the line and get a playoff. It's third down. And the Tigers take another timeout. No, we had one no, timeout. No, no, no. What okay. the, they gave us the injury timeout yeah. they gave to Rustin, yeah. so we did have one timeout left. All right. I was waiting for the old Chris Weber deal. I, mean, I don't know what happens. We get, <laughs> we get a technical foul. for that. It's, it's, it's a penalty. Yeah. It's a, it's penalty, a penalty, penalty when you do it. So that is the Tigers' final timeout. We'll keep it right here. Uh, Robert, a minute 37 to go. and straight, Like we keep saying, these games just yeah. – I'll never disappoint. I know. It's, it, this is a great football game here on the road. you got to be impressed with the, the way Neville has handled this situation. Yeah. Go, you know, uh, great stadium, great fans, and uh, a lot of young guys out here for the Tigers on both sides of the football. It's third down and about eight for the Tigers. Anzalone barking out signals. He's going to bring Hughes across the formation. He calls for the snap. Ball is thrown across the middle, almost intercepted. He was looking for Hughes, not Hughes. He was looking for Vaughn, <coughs> uh, Vaughn underneath. Yeah, Russins, they've got a spy now. They're yeah. dropping him into the middle of the field. And, yeah, I don't think Brooks was ready for that. Yeah. It's the first time he'd seen that tonight. Yeah. But it's fourth down now and eight. The Tigers definitely do or die here. Clock stopped with 1.36 to go. Tigers don't get this one. The Bearcats can kneel this one out. Anzalone back to pass. He's pressured, and he's hit as he throws, and that's going to be incomplete. And, folks, that's probably going to do it. Yep. The pressure on the stunt got to Anzalone. He tried to step up in the pocket, and he couldn't get the pass away. The Tigers with a valiant effort here. On the road at Hoss Garrett Stadium, we're going to come up just a little bit short. Yeah, and Rustin, you know, they did a great job here in the second half, you know, of uh, 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 running the football, yeah. doing what they do, uh, and playing defense. They relied on their defense right there on fourth down. Their defensive line uh, dialed it up and, and uh, made the, the you know, play to, to create the incomplete pass there on fourth down and give this offense the ball back with a minute 30 left, a minute 29 yeah. left. Uh, they'll be able to kneel it out. And yeah, I would, I would would expect, especially with Dawson Fields' uh, injury, that uh, this is going to be victory formation. Yeah. Tigers out of timeouts. They're going to have to take a couple of knees here, and, and that's going to do it. But uh, heck of a football game we yeah. saw here tonight, Robert. Yep. And, and it gives you some <coughs> confidence going yeah. forward. It, it, this is one of the top teams in 5A, and that's where we are yep. right now in that Division One non-select. The Tigers have made it all the way up to, I think, four or five in the yep. power ratings. Yep. Yep. It, it's been kind of an interesting uh, deal, but they're going to lose this one tonight but gain a lot of confidence. And going into a district play, it's going to be interesting to see where the, the Tigers end up in this uh, Division I non-select yeah. playoff race. And, and Coach Tannehill, that's what he's talked about since the beginning. Each week getting a little bit better, a little mm -hmm. bit better. And we've seen that. This defense has, has gotten a little bit better each week. Yeah. Led by Fobbs White. Uh, 
you know, and and offensively we've seen it also get a little bit better, a little bit better with Nichols yep. and then with Brooks Anzalone throwing the football. So, um, you know, I think there's good things to come here for this season and, and ongoing in future years for yep. this Tiger football team. Osborne kneels that one, and that's going to do it. The Bearcats are going to go to their sideline, and that's going to be a final as the Bearcats student section releases some – yeah. Cat bombs or, or whatever that is down there. The they call smoke. it the cat box uh, <coughs> there. But, hey, awesome effort from our Tigers here tonight in the loss. They lose this one 27-21 to 21 as we move into our uh, <laughs> Martinez, <laughs> our Martinez chiropractic postgame show. And uh, we're going to await our postgame interview with Coach Jeff Tannehill, but I just can't go about it. I mean, we see these. That's a good rusting team over there. Yeah, yeah, they and are. And the Tigers had an opportunity to win it yep. in the final minute. Yeah, that's all you can ask for is, is especially, you know, with the expectations of this football team this year, uh, I think this is an impressive showing coming to Ruston and competing with a one-score game and a chance to win it in the end. Uh, we didn't quite get it done. Rustin was a little bit better tonight. Uh, mainly Kemp comes down to penalties. Yeah. Uh, Neville had a few costly penalties and, and costly yeah. plays that hurt us in the end. Definitely more penalized. Uh, we had we mentioned it earlier in the in the fourth quarter. Uh, we had around 60, 70 yards of penalties, and uh, Bearcats only had uh, two five. for five yeah. for, for five yards. They did get the uh, the the one on the kickoff that that deal, but uh, I think. Uh, Coach Tannehill, or Jeff Jason Ewing, has has found Coach Jeff Tannehill, and uh, let's get ready to go down for that post game interview. Jason, take it away. Coach, probably the best full game the Tigers have played all season. You know, a couple of calls didn't go our way, and you know, made a, a you know at crucial moments made big impact on the game. But all in all, heck of a game from the Tigers. I thought we had played with great effort. I knew we would. It's Russ and Neville. It's always like that. You know, I just we we had a few mistakes uh, in the first quarter, and then we had one in the second quarter that, that I felt cost us a bunch. But you know, we, we're learning. We're getting better each week, and we played it. That's a very good football team, as physical as you'll play all year. And uh, they're going to win a lot more football games. And uh, you know, we're trying to get better and get ready for week uh, 11. Yeah, uh, you know, district coming up. That's a that's a huge momentum going into district for you. Well, I've never I've never found a good guy that likes to lose very much, but I am proud of their effort, and uh, we're going to get ready for Peabody next week. Thank you, Coach. All right. Talk about Peabody. It's homecoming at Neville next week. A lot of people coming in uh, for the uh, homecoming festivities. Always a big deal at uh, Bill Ruppel Stadium, so we're looking forward to that. But real quick, Will Anders, as he joins the Martinez Chiropractic postgame show, you got some final stats for us. Like all right. All right. <laughs> well, all right. Go ahead. You keep doing what you do. and, and No, I'm up now. All right. You, you got, you got it? All right. Yeah, so if we look up the final stats here, <coughs> Tigers tonight 304 yards to Rustin's 318. Tigers 156 yards on the ground to Rustin's 123. 148 through the air. Rustin with 190. Tigers one crucial turnover. Back in the fourth quarter, Tigers 13 first downs to Rustin's 18. Time possession, Tigers 21 minutes to Rustin's about 27 minutes. Leading rusher tonight for the Tigers was Jalen Nichols. He had 25 attempts for 128 yards and two touchdowns. Brooks Anselone 12 for 22 tonight, 148 yards and a touchdown. For the Rustin Bearcats, Jaden Osborne went nine for 17 with three touchdown passes. Dyson Fields 30 rushing attempts for 90 yards. Tigers defense allowed them to three, night, yeah. three yards a carry, which is not accustomed to yeah. Dyson Fields' You're normal right. stats. You're right. And then you look at receiving Bradley Hamlin, four for 61. Jalen Nichols, three for 49. Caleb Vaughn, three for 30. And on Rustin's side, Aaron Jackson, six yeah. for 127 tonight yeah. and two big touchdowns. He, the big touchdown. He had a couple of big plays, and, and that was the deciding factor when it all came down to it. Um, the 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 turnover and the big play, getting them to 27. Uh, Tigers just couldn't quite have enough time to yep. pull off pull off the upset here. Uh, so, Robert, you know, like Coach Tannehill said, nobody likes a loss. No, no, but, no. But uh, there's really no, 
you know, moral, quote unquote, moral victories here. But I believe that the Tigers believe now. They can compete. They can compete. Yep. No at, this, at this level. And I think this was a great game for the young guys. Mm -hmm. um, you've got, like I said, on defense, you've got a young defensive end. You've got young people in the secondary. Yeah. Uh, they, they came out here against a good football team and competed, uh, you know, at their place. Uh, so it's not going to get any uh, more difficult than this until you get into the playoffs. So uh, a good confidence builder. You know, obviously you didn't win the football game, yeah. but you competed. Uh, you held Dyson Fields to three three yards of carry. Yeah, that's pretty impressive. As pretty a defense. impressive. Uh, yeah. there, there was a couple of big plays that uh, we gave up that were long touchdowns or, and then long run, uh, mm -hmm. long passes that cost us in the end. We've got to go figure out a way to go make those plays in big games like this. You're right, Robert. All right. Well, the Tigers come up a little short. <clears throat> Twenty-seven to twenty-one. Your final. Rustin wins it. Let's go to Will Anders for a quick check of the scores from around the area. All right, yeah. So North Caddo currently down on West Washtenaw, 27 to 20. That's a good game out in Katyville right now. Union Parish all over Franklin Parish, 49 to 20. General Trash, 26. Ravel, 12. Carroll up on Bastrop, 48 nothing. Sterlington late in the fourth quarter. It's 36 20 over there. Class 2A Mangum le uh, leads Oak Grove, 42 21 in the third quarter. Cedar Creek was all over Tinsall, running clock at this point, 56 nothing. St. Fred's was close to that end point of that game. It's 34 nothing. They're probably over. Don't know. And then Darbone Woods up on River Oaks, 35 to 12. And of course, here at Hoss Garrett Field, it was Rustin 27, the Neville Tigers 21. Thank you, Will Anders. And and look for everybody. We're standing here in the uh, on the grassy knoll. If uh, at Ruston, the old hill. I used to slide down this yep. hill when I was little. But uh, just thanks to everybody that that helps us do all this uh, stuff. Put this, bring this to you. Not only on Sunny ninety eight point three, but the Neville Tiger Network. We've got you know Robert Lane. You you see here, Will Anders uh, back there uh, directing stuff. Uh, Jason Ewing, our, our sideline reporter, uh, is that uh, Jackson Spangler, Benjamin Burkett, uh, Davis Shelby helped us set up some stuff. We got Garrett Davis on the cameras, Brian Birch, Sean Hollister as well, and and Justin Wilson back in the studio. We appreciate all he does for us there on the in the radio studio, folks. Tigers take one on the chin. We'll be back on Wednesday for Tiger Talk at Melvin's with Coach Jeff Tannehill and homecoming next Friday night at Bill Ruppel Stadium. Make plans to be there. Good night, everybody.